Hi everyone, hope you're having a good day and everything. Uh, so I figured I'd do a small live with some of the prizes that I've won from the arcades. Or should I should say at least more of them. I work away. So I was asked a while back how many key rings do I actually have and I'm pretty sure it's in the hundreds as that's the main prize for coin pushers. But it is different types and different styles of coin pushers that we have because there's multiple ones we literally can get about 10, 15 different coin pushers per arcade. So there's quite a few that we can play on. And hopefully the chat doesn't mess up today. So I'm going to, first thing I'm going to show is because there is a little thing I've been messing around with, a silly game that I play, which I got, want to see which I get. As always, I get the lowest card. So, yeah, I'm going to start showing the prizes now, straight away because there is quite a few, and this way I can sort them out. Hi, Movie Fanatic. How are you today? So here's the first one of the key rings, which is only has one little loop, so it's not really a, a key chain. This one, and I'm just going to switch microphones as I don't appear to have actually. Yes, I do. as I don't like the mic from my laptop. Hopefully the oh, mic's working a bit better because I know the laptop one will pick up the furniture rather than me at times. So is, how is everyone today? Hope everyone is good. This one's an actual key chain, which is a Pluto. And we have loads of different styles of key chain. It's just finding them. And here's another little prize that we get from coin pushers little horsey hi miss jube how are you today hope you're well so we do get quite a lot uh, i'm never good with the times i just figured they would and the, have a couple of minutes spare to do this, show some of these and so on. So I've got this one. I don't know, Stro Time is going live later. Hi Chrissy, how are you today? I hope you're okay.
That's cool, Miss Job. That's no good, work away. I hate it when I lose things. So here's a little bumper car, little model. I actually really like that one because it's different and we don't really get many prizes like that one. Well, that shape, but that is an actual uh, fairground ride. You normally get stuff like this little fishy quite often in coin pushes as well. So there's quite a few different colors for this. And I might actually put these up, up for like where the ducky is in live streams. I might like my favorite ones. This one's a fridge magnet. So looks cool. And it is from a coin pusher, as that's where these ones mostly come from. And I think they're quite cute, as you got the little turtle on it. Which I quite like. And it's quite detailed. Oh, and that's little ducky from a claw machine as well. So I've got my own little ducky for the live. Hmm. And here's a a bag tag, I think they are, which is Little Mermaid one. Which they are quite cool. We've got quite a few of those. In different styles as well, like the Cars ones. That sounds good, movie fanatic. So this is a more common type of key ring that we have in arcades, which is, I'm pretty sure they get hundreds and thousands of these because they're always in the arcades they are whether they are different versions of this or harry potter is one at the moment and some of us and is a little deck chair which is kind of cool is another difference thing 
which is a nice green little model which are quite like these little things as they're all made out of porcelain I think or something like that here's what another one which I've been looking for this one colors a bit off but we, there's about three different color no five different colors I think there's green blue purple and pink I think and it is a mini Henry Hoover which is quite heavy yeah I quite like it I've got blue one in my room as well but Henry vacuum might keep it there the blue one or the red one well maybe the red one so I don't lose the blue one there's a little Donald keychain which I quite like I prefer the more chain ones as they're easy to find when looking for things and we've got a couple of this one I think And as I did say, there was quite a few of these little fishies. And you get different colours of them, which they do look cool. And yeah, that was Guardians of the Galaxy one. As I do forget to mention which they are from sometimes. And another fishy one, which is quite cool. Hi Jennifer, how are you today? Hope you're well. Right. Call it all one. And here's another one of the bag things, which is that one, which is Princess Jasmine. And I'm pretty sure we may have had at one point the whole set of them. And these, we get different styles of them. Like I said before, there's quite a few different versions. And it's always the same on both sides. Keep forgetting to bring some of the bigger prizes for videos. And here's a little coconut with sunglasses, which is quite cool. Also has yeah, the little flower, so it does look cool. And I think this one's the same. So we do get quite a few of those. 
Uh, another ride one, which I quite like. Which is not very big, but they are cute. And I think we do have the full set, but I just don't know where they are. Which I'm going to work out which ones of these I want for to put up there as a background thing. Hi Infinite, how are you today? Here's another fridge magnet. Which has a little lobster on it, which looks quite cool. And yeah, they're heavy and but winnable. So that's what it's like underneath. Uh, you can see the magnet, and it does make it so it stays over the money a bit easier. These are probably the only prize I do not try and win. Mostly because I don't want to play little games. So little maze things. So these are on coin pushers as well. So get like those and quite a few different styles and pictures and some emojis ones as well which we do have quite a few different styles No, that one won't show up properly because it's blue. And blue in this room doesn't light up well. And this thing I'm getting quickly now. These are little snap bands things with a little plush fishy on which I quite like. Hi, Epic Fun and Games. How are you today? And this one has a little crab on it. Hmm. So a little crabby on this one. And they are just like that, all of these. So that's the full pattern on this one and this one, which they are quite pretty. They're also fun too, because you can play slap them on the arm. <laughs> we actually have quite a few different styles of those. We get plastic ones, which I've got a couple Jurassic Park and a couple of Minions as well. So, I would infinite, but microphone's right there, and people do not want to be deafened by that. So, this is a mini one, and I may have shown one already, but there's loads of these which we do get as we play for the money box version 
quite a lot of the time. But they are very well detailed for what they are. We have blue ones and also different styles. Cause there's so many. If any of this is double, it's I've not. I've put everything to the that side of me, and everything is on the opposite side that I'm picking up to show at least. A little. Eeyore, I think. Not really sure on these because I don't know. I know they're off of a coin pressure. Just don't know how many we've got of them. Maybe one or uh, about three or four different ones, maybe. Chip or Dow? Cool. Mostly got these in the packaging still. Fang key ring. Which these are cool ones. It's just uh, so easy to get. And I have a little popcorn as well, which is from a coin pusher. So the prizes do vary quite often what you're going to get from a coin pusher because there is literally in an arcade there can be up to 30 different coin pushers so they're not always going to be the same prizes there in the UK they're going to have a mixture of different they might have a themed one that's just that one kind of prize. Like one might have been dedicated to Pokemon, like things like this, little key rings, blush, little plush, and so on. Or Doctor Who. The cute fluffy hair trolls and things like this can be one as well. It's just finding them. Minecraft as well. Ah, not good. Ah, uh, banks are banks movie fanatic. Hopefully, it has saw itself out, but this one's. Minecraft and I think it's the only one that I've got. Thanks, Trendy Trendy Scratchers, I hope you're well. So 
probably it's yeah it's probably going to do that for a while because youtube's being two-faced as it took away half my views from last night's stream And here's another key ring, which has different styles of this one. There's bigger, but you have a slightly bigger one, smaller one, and, and this size. So they do make quite a lot of different stuff. The more cheaper key ring. Yeah, YouTube's retarded at the moment because you can't leave a robot to do what they are supposed to do. It's retarded. The ro robot can't pick which is a fake view and which is a real view. It's going to take the wrong stuff away. And they view with the bad stuff because fake views are troll views. They are. And another one, and I think these ones are from uh, the Game of Thrones. So this is one that would be in the Doctor Who coin pressure. They have things like Pac-Man as well. And they try and have themes for all coin pushers as well. So there'd be like a hidden feature that you can... <laughs> I know it's just YouTube's robots don't understand what's real and what's not thanks Wiggleway yeah I do have lots of them um, I just need to make sure that I can always show them when I find the sets of them I want. So um, let's go to the 35 minute mark at least, then oh, and has not really got much anything else to show I don't think I might be able to get some Pokemon or a Pokemon thing Nope, I've connected these all. Yeah, that's Henry. And I think it might stay behind. And yeah, so things like this, which I did attach to a chair and I couldn't see the clip to undo it. Get stuff like that mostly because I had this t shirt blocking everything. Which is the t shirt that I got from Nola Fam and Jennibel Neverland. So, the, as the channel is now 
being changed and I'm blanking on one of the names as it's just me being me with the forgetfulness. And another emoji as well. So we get quite a few things like this as one machine has may have about three of these emojis in but it's only small so it's not really filmable i have actually tried and it's just too small but when i'm better i'll make them videos i will with and hopefully they haven't rigged the machines to the point that no one can win anything. As normally with that machine, you can get a good percent of your money back. Uh, yeah, so little Henry Hoover or Henry Vacuum. Yes, I hope that everything's okay and safe. So now the challenge to get the last one off this thing. Nope, I'm not going to be able to get that because it really is angled at the wrong thing. Yeah, I showed Sean a while back that the Henry and he liked it. Actually, I have got it. Hi, Aaron Freeze. How are you today? I'm just having an argument with um, my chair that I had this clip to as it didn't want to release it. So Pikachu and this one's off of Coin Pusher, which I actually got this one on my birthday and the other one on my birthday as well because the worker said that he could put those on the play field even though they're not supposed to put anything near the front in any way. But he lined them up in a reasonable spot and I put in about five pound and got all of them and a few other little bits as well got this Deadpool keyring as well I actually don't have much Deadpool stuff. I think Deadpool and Spider-Man we mostly have the same items for. No, we don't have much Superman. <laughs> And I'm just trying to think what type, if there was anything that we don't have normally. So I've not really got much shout. I've got this one a while back. If it doesn't fall to the floor. Little model. T 
contaminate art. Mm-hmm. That's a thing I could look for. But at the moment, we definitely haven't seen any. I know the one of the arcades is happy for suggestions of things to for them to get because they like a bit of feedback on the items like these. So, and that's the only one I got of that because it was like 300 tickets, I think, or 600. And this was the main one I actually wanted out of the whole lot. So at least I got that. And it, oh, finally something I actually undid easy. Um, emoji money bag, which I actually keep guitar picks in. None of the ones that I got from concert, but the ones that I actually use myself. So, ones like this, I have, and a couple with pictures, maybe, a couple of plain ones, different styles and grips as well, so, quite a lot when it comes to guitar picks I have. I think some of these are too thin to use for base, so I don't really use some of them. Might use them as bookmarks occasionally, or depending if they are good enough, I can use them with a guitar at least. I play when I can, it's just at the moment my hand's quite sore so I've got to be a bit more careful with playing. A green one with a nice little grip which makes it so it won't slide out my hand. Another skull one. But my base is on the other side of the room, which I can't really get just yet. I'll have to have it next to me for a live, I think, so I can show it properly. And here's a Gibson one, unless people don't mind me going to pick the base up, then I'll go and pick it up or pick the guitar, one of my guitars up. Actually, I can pick both, both up. If you just give me um, a second, I will just put something on the screen for a minute, then while I pick the bass up. Hi, DJ Buells. How are you today? I hope you're doing good. And like this is my favorite emoji even though that's what I commented on your video after watching it that's cool I don't have a Gibson guitar but the ones one that I've got is a custom which I will show but I'm just going to turn my mic off and put a picture up for 
a minute or two because I'm going to need uh, about a minute to pick everything up. And here's a, another guitar pick with a rhino on it. So, and them ones are actually good for scratching lottery tickets. So I'm going to get the one, the bass and one of my guitars. And hopefully I don't fall over in the process, but I'm going to try put this up for a minute while I pick everything up and I'll be straight back. Right, that took less time than I thought. But the first one I'll show is my bass. But first I'll just show what my tuner, guitar tuner looks like. And it has a picture of a Pokemon on it. And the Pokemon is a Charmander. So as that's my favorite Pokemon, well, Eevee's my sec first favourite, and then it's Charmander. As Eevee's one that I try and collect as much as possible. So this is my base. And... Nope, I'm not near a wall. But, yeah, that's what my base looks like. And it does have Backseat Quiller Productions sticker on it. So free plugin every time I show that for Backseat. And I don't know how well this will pick up the guitar, but it is a louder guitar and that's the one I have. It's not the best, but it's my spare one, really. I have no clue how to play that song. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure if I played that, it's copyrighted to pieces. Just like that is. Uh, sugar. Finger now issue. So that's one problem I've got at the moment. I don't know many chords, so I just play what's on the games, as I mostly play a rocksmith with the guitar. Mm -hmm. Right, see if I can do it.
Right, I'm going to lower the mic to the guitar a little bit more to see if it at least pick it up. But this won't be good because even if it does pick up on the mic because my hands are, fingernails are too long. Actually, that's the worst one. Right, that's sorted. So, and this isn't the guitar pick I normally would use. Probably out of tune. Yeah, exactly. Metallica's one. It's actually the first song that my brother taught me on guitar. It was. He started showing me how to play the songs, and I just really like that one song specifically, and that's the one I started with. Ah, they get something. And hopefully this one works. I'm even trying to play it as bad as possible to make sure there's no message from YouTube saying, hey, we want copyrights for that. <laughs> I might actually do this for occasionally, learn a couple of small pieces just to play, guess the song, as that would be quite fun. Actually, that's one's the WWE Undertaker's music. That one is. And it's literally one of the only things that I can pick up on any instrument and just play it. There's a thing that was bass not guitar hmm yeah WWE Undertaker uses that and there's a couple of other wrestling ones that I do know which I might try and learn three different one 
things before alive and play them at the end sort of thing as like a little bit of fun for a bit of fun I just not using like the main guitar while you have and that I like as probably can find like a couple of songs but also I wanted to see if that gets copyrighted infinite that's the main reason and I can't remember happy birthday even though I've played it loads of times No, I need to see it. Oh, that's cool. Because I was going to get Rocksmith, the video game, and turn off the backing track and just have the bass play through. And just do the live stream around, can I complete this song while keeping up with the chat and make it like a challenge every time I do that. I know that every time I've done Happy Birthday on guitar that there's been no issue with it. But with robots, they don't know the difference between a real thing and fake. So playing as bad as possible is the best way. <laughs> And that one is one that I also picked up just from playing it so regularly on the Rocksmith game. That is cool. Everyone that has basically put money into that thing. They're going to be in the comments for all the videos that are related to it. So, and if I don't remember, Infinite will tell me to make sure they're in the description. But I'll put this up quickly. Um, my favorite song is Metallica One, but I can only play bits of it as I really am not the gonna lie and say I'm good at guitar. Um, I can follow the what to play pretty easy. It's just one. If I go like to play now, I'll just forget what I'm supposed to play and everything. And the best song that I can play when my finger nails are sorted and I don't have the guitar at uh, the wrong angle is this one. Oh, 
I'll have to look up some of the, the chords for the songs and put maybe a couple on my screen. Then I'll play those while I'm live. But uh, if I can find it, maybe there's the only thing that I have got written, the tab for written down, I can have a quick look for. Mitch won't be able to see myself, but I can see the chat at least. As there is something that I have on my Google or documents, I took it as a photo to, or something. No, not that one. Well, it might even be better if I look it up on my tablet. <laughs> As that's where I actually do have that. Actually, cheat by sides of the file, so that might help. Right, this might actually be it, might not, but who knows. Ooh, no, like I'm not sharing my screen. As I would have put all my email addresses up. And I only know one of them. <laughs> Um, I think it's a photo I'm looking for. And no. Wrong photo. <laughs> But what is everyone's favourite song? And one of my favourite songs is Ready for War by Atlantis Way. Which I probably butchered the name because I'm no good at pronouncing them. Oops, don't want my address. That's cool. I wish I'd put this in a more easy to find location. <laughs> that would be fun, infinite. <laughs> Yikes, I have so many photos. Ooh, I so wish I knew where it was because It's bugging me now. So yeah, don't think I can find that one. But who knows, maybe another time I can find it.
Nope. I found a lottery, a card that I downloaded. that Sean was going to play the game for, but never did. But I can't find a guitar tab. No, I don't think I can find it. And I don't want to make this a free day live stream trying to find it. But maybe you can do something with the guitar another time. When I'm more able with my hands being sore at the moment. But I will practice some bits and try and play them occasionally when I am live, maybe. But I won't do bass unless I can get it through the PlayStation because that bass you really don't won't hear the actual base from it as even if I do that it you don't really hear much. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, uh, I'm so tired. Well, not tired, but can't think of anything really to talk about. Walking and swimming for me. <laughs> if I don't get eaten by a shark. Um, Infinite, do you want to quickly join? Because there's something I wanted to ask you after the live. I'm just going to put the thing in the chat because... I'm not going to stay on much, too much longer. So hopefully that shows up. So if you want to join the live for the last couple of minutes, feel free to. And I'll, we'll talk properly after Infinite about what I was thinking. Yes, feel free to join Blake. It'd be cool if you can. Even if we sort it out for another time, it'd be fun.
Yeah, that's a cold keychain. I've got to get another one of that. actually want to get a couple of spares so I can either put some on my backpack for like decoration also um, yeah there's quite a few that I can think of like I want to get a couple more of these ones, the Pikachu as well. Did they have it on there? Because I think they can be found, the keychains can be. So my guitar that is my favourite one is the same one as the guitarist from Muse uses as I got a custom version of his guitar which is one of my favourites and it was supposed to take months and months before I could have the guitar and they decided that I could have it only. Hi. Hello. I'm just getting in my earbuds. Hold on one sec. Uh, my cord's all tangled. <laughs> Give me a second. Oh. How's everybody doing tonight? Hope everybody's doing good. Um, having full moon around this time, <laughs> I discovered it's a little wonky. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to get my ear, but I can't What's get this cord straight. No, I'm telling you, look, look, <laughs> the cord just, it just won't go straight. We All right. take so the I, cat with them. <laughs> I just wanted to tease you guys. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so how are you doing tonight, Joe? I'm tired. No, I'm not tired, just tired of being sore. Yeah, we got our candy goal, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Forget about the soreness. Forget about the world's <laughs> angst. Forget about the woes of life. <laughs> mm. oh, I know, but it is. I think, um, I think this is the week that people are starting to go stir crazy. <laughs> I think this yeah. is going to be the marker. <laughs> yeah, but remember, I've been in the house since... December 2nd. I've not been outside. Right. Okay. So me as an agoraphobic, right? Mm. Um, I was doing arcade videos for my exposure therapy. Mm. Um, and then I stopped doing them and I noticed that I started staying indoors more. And I was like, mm. oh. Um, so just as I, you know, start seeing a therapist again and just as I you know, want to make a launch to like, yeah, let's go back to the arcades. Mm -hmm. This happens. <laughs> but yeah. like from an agor, like from your, in my point of view, it's no mm -hmm. different than any other day, you know? Mm -hmm. But I mean, for me, I think a big stress marker is going to the grocery store because mm -hmm. that's always been hard for me to do in the first place. Set a and, goal uh, each time you go in there, so you want one. But, specific thing that you wouldn't normally buy and you have well, to find that and photograph it the one thing I wouldn't buy yeah like, like say pick a pack of sweets that you would normally not bother with and say take a photo of it that's what your main goal is of that outing and you're not to think about you're to think about that more than hmm. what you're doing so it starts to become 
less about you being outside and more about that little goal. So Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I talked to my therapist kind of on the same exact track where Mm. Um, in other words, I tend to record and mm. that does that for me. Yeah. And so it's me, like, oh, just, I yeah. listen to music. Yeah. That, when you travel. Yeah. But yeah, I remember your you, travel videos. I'm listening yeah. to, let's say I'm starting to feel stressed. I don't, I, and all that, the bad side. And I want something that gets me in the mood to keep going, keep doing what I'm doing. I'll put on something like Alistair Black's entrance music. And mm. here's Black. Hola, hola, hola. Hey. <laughs> oh, snap. What just happened here? Oh my what goodness. Is... Aye, 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 aye. All right. What's up, guys? Blake is in the <laughs> house. Uh, that was everything. Where? What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? Can you hear us? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> This is great. I hear myself <laughs> we echo. Need... Well, you mm. got to have your... Oh, yeah, you shouldn't hear yourself. Well, uh, is your TV down? Mm. Oh, hold on. I know. I know. I know yeah. why. Yeah. It, it's always one other source. I had to mute the actual stream. <laughs> yeah. 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 I was like, wait a minute, what? I keep hearing myself. I do talk. that whenever I join someone's live. It's like, don't speak to me for a second. I'm trying to mute myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But wh why am I in the middle? I don't know. You're like the middle of the Oreo be... cookie. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, crap. Oh, man. All right. So how's everything going in Ohio? You are in Ohio, right? Yeah, it's all right over here. It's not yeah. bad. Just living the best life over here. Nothing crazy yeah. great. Nothing to do but scratch off lottery <laughs> tickets and sit at home. Well, that's what I was saying, is that if you did a private live, can't you just play whatever music you want? Uh, not on YouTube, I can't, because YouTube, they'll still, they'll still uh, copyright me. And they'll just, let, they'll just take the video right down. Even I if it's private. One video. Yeah, I tried to film a video just at the club. Like I started, a, I started like a, a video through YouTube one day, and it just was like, nope, took it down. Wow. Yeah, the only video crazy. I've actually put up that's copyrighted is a day to remember the that video. And that got copywritten. Yeah. The uh, only time I got my own I got a copyright strike on showing my own video. Hmm. And I was like, I, well, I told them, hey, this is my own video. You can't copyright me because I'm not suing anybody. <laughs> hmm. You know, it's my own video. You can't copyright me on that. Yeah, I hate when they try to do that stuff. <laughs> so no there's no issue they just said hey this is the owner of the music they've given you permission to play the music and I'm happy with that because it's a good video the audio's good it shows the, what a music festival really is like in the UK All right, there we go. I had to fix some like the lighting in here. <laughs> I still can't see the green screen over there, but it's whatever. Mm. I was messing with the green screen. Yeah. Oh, man. yeah. I don't I don't mess with this whole very often, so it's like yeah. uh, what have you been using to run um your streams, your live streams? Oh, uh, Streamlabs. Streamlabs. Okay. Yeah. So Okay, so I mean, okay. Are you kind of somewhat unfamiliar with it? I'm not sure. But in other words, because um, when your stream comes out on at least my end, it comes out wide. Mine does? Yeah, it comes out. Not right now. Oh, yeah. Right now, it's fine. But when you do it live, it looks stretched. And so right. I'm not sure if you're right. If you're using 
because there's two different things you can do. It's stretch to stretch to screen or fit to screen. And you want to do the fit to screen. Yeah. Yeah. You want to fit it. And then change it yourself and then just change it yourself. Lock it and you're good. Right. Yeah. Kind of. It's, it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt sometimes. Like, yeah. it, like um, the way I have it set up in the studio on the thing or whatever, it, it, it it's like a really small, it's not a really small image, but it, it's like made for to be stretched a little bit. So it kind of looks a little stretched, but yeah, it's just whatever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I'm just like, whatever, it'll work. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, are you kidding? Because Joe learned um, stream yards before I did. And he's mm-hmm. telling me like, oh, you do this. And I'm like, how do you do this? And until I just sat down and did it, now this makes sense. Look, we're superheroes. Joe, sit up a little bit. Ready? Look, <laughs> we're, exactly we're three superheroes. Heavy. Even the well, quality on here is the quality don't seem very good on here though right now where I'm at. Mm. Oh well no, no, no. It's, it's not weird. gonna be yeah. Mm. yeah. It's still alright though. Mm. Oh, you have your green screen going. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, yeah, I do. Heck that's why yeah. I was, was putting all the lights up and stuff. Mm. Nice. Cool. <laughs> nice. Yeah, and um, I noticed how your map doesn't have anybody from New England. No, I don't have anything. You haven't come to – got to come to New England, man. <laughs> no, I've been to um, – I can't see it now because our green screen's up. But I don't know. I've been, to all, I've been to a lot of different places around here, but I haven't been over that way. No, I haven't been to New England. Maybe one day we're, I'll make money. We're just too hillbilly for him. I don't know. I live out in the country. I live pretty hillbilly yeah. out here. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, I've seen. I've seen your videos of uh, foxes and whatever things dig in your backyard. There's all kinds of stuff in my house. Right. Deer, everything. Right. You you live way rural. I there don't just, live that rural. There was just deer yesterday or like two days ago in my backyard. It was crazy. should put it in the video. Yeah. I was yeah. thinking the same thing, Joe. <laughs> Definitely. He needs they were to put just, that in a video. They were just back there eating. Just they were out, just back. Yeah, but to it's us, that's, that's, that's crazy. It's interesting and cool to say. Huh. Yeah, the I mean, to me, it's just, it's just normal, so I don't think of it. Started. <laughs> a matter of fact, get the deer to use paper towel, and that would be a really viral video. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, TP. <laughs> That'd be funny. <laughs> like just put it like just mount it onto the tree you know a teepee holder and just mount it onto a tree that you know deer go next to and then just snap some pictures i hit a deer i actually hit a deer on my four-wheeler back in the day i was driving a four-wheeler <laughs> and i was going like 50 55 or so like 55 60 mile an hour and just poof, smashed it but it, the deer lived like it messed my four-wheeler all up in the front but i i, I was good it's crazy wow I came. I came probably about eight feet away from hitting a deer. Um, oh. Jesse called. Jesse called it. I didn't even see it. And yeah, um, yeah it's the scariest thing. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> well, I like I said, I've hit. I've hit my share of deer. So I, to me, it's just normal. It's everyday <laughs> life. <It's> nor- <laughs> Joe, Joe, do you hit deer every day? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's way better. Look at that quality. I was like, why is my why is my camera look like crap? And I was using the the, I wasn't using the good one. Look at that. Now look it's at that clean look, look at that clean shaven guy over there. Look at him. Ooh, sexy. You're sexy, <laughs> and you know it. <laughs> I know I've been... I'm the only one with a basic camera now. <laughs> See, Ready Player One. I think Ready Player One said he's leaving. I think someone said. Oh, that's cool. I yeah, I think Stroh Time's just gone live. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> yep. Boom, 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 I did win a giveaway on those yesterday. By you Harris. did? Yeah. Wow. I don't what? Any... What'd you win? Yeah, what'd you I win? I won a five pound Amazon gift card. Nice. Which they put it to UK, so it's <laughs> usable. <laughs> well, by the way, Joe. Um, mm-hmm. Jesse was telling me, right? She's like, yeah. "You're fundraising. You're fundraising a candy box for Joe." Mm-hmm. I'm like, "Yeah, I'm fun. I'm fundraising a candy box for Joe." She's like, 
like get him a protein package or something like give him something <laughs> like nourishing that he can actually use <laughs> she was like what are you doing and i thought that was funny I thought that was like just. We did yeah. get the protein ones occasionally. We have, um, well, specifically, I have to have um, the and it, the protein shakes I get. Yeah, right. Wickawoo said that she had a friend. Uh, my friend hit a deer once. That's crazy. Yeah, I, I've hit. I think I've hit. I've, I've personally hit one on a four wheeler. <laughs> two, two in my, two in my, old, three in my old car. I think two or three in my old car, and I've I've been in like th two or three other cars that's hit a deer while in the car. So I've hit plenty of deer in my life. Mm. It's been crazy. There's literally no deer where I live. <laughs> I <know. laughs> you you probably got more like sheep and stuff over there, don't you? Oh, like, um, we're gonna, we're gonna play a game right now, care? right? No, we're gonna no play a game deer, called really. Roadkill. We're going to play a game called Roadkill. Oh, How many times? So above our heads are going to appear, and above Joe's head and above <laughs> DJ's, is the counter to Roadkill. And I bet you DJ's is going... <laughs> Out the roof. <laughs> Out the roof. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Don't watch. Look at oh, the road Bambi. When driving. <laughs> Bambi <laughs> well, hates me. In the car. <laughs> so the amount we see is probably high. But yeah. I just miss it because it's I gotta... generally foxes, badgers, mice, squirrels, things like that. You normally will see, but. Or pigeons. They uh, tend to fly into the cart, the buses. Huh. <laughs> <That's so> <laughs> yeah, we have all kinds of stuff here. Like, like I'll mm. see foxes, I'll see deer, I'll see, um, I don't know, everything. Everything out here. It's all over the place. I've probably, uh, hit, yeah, I've, I've, I've probably hit them all, too. I've probably hit everything you can think. I've hit, I had a, I've hit a duck. I've hit two or three. I've hit three deer. I've hit, um, I don't know. I've hit, I've hit all kinds of stuff. I almost got shot over. I, I, I never said it. I almost got shot one time because I hit, I hit someone's duck and I pulled into their driveway and they got at, they came out with a gun because I live in the middle of nowhere. They came yeah. out with a gun and they were like, what are you doing in my driveway? And I was like, I hit something and my, my whole headlight is busted out. And then the guy was like, to find out it was the guy's duck. So already he wants to shoot me. And then to find out the guy's upset with me because I hit his duck. The cops mm. came and everything. It was crazy. <laughs> it was insane. I can't imagine. Well, it got the reason the cops came was it's so crazy. The whole story is nuts because <laughs> what so, the heck? so I'm driving down the road. I had a, my Camaro at the time, driving down the road. Next thing you know, I hit I hit something. I'm like, what is that I hit? So I turn, I pull in this driveway real quick. I get out and look at my car. The headlights all busted out because I must have just hit the d the duck right at the right spot and it busted my headlight out. And mm -hmm. well, so I go back and I start driving down the road to try to like see what's going on to like see if I can see what I hit, just kind of trying to creep. And uh, my one of my friends that I knew, he passed me, and I guess there was a deer that jumped out across the street and he rolled his car, literally right in front of like I looked at my rearview mirror, I was like, oh my gosh! So I spun my car around, mm -hmm. came back. And the guy comes out with a gun wanting to shoot me because I pulled in his driveway. I was like, it was so mm. crazy. And I'm like, do you not see this guy over here? He's literally just flipped his car over. <laughs> he, was, <laughs> he was crazy. Oh, okay. So, um, and uh, DJ gets <laughs> bonus points, bonus hillbilly points. Is yeah, what I DJ look. gets. Man. <laughs> it's crazy out here, man. But we can do anything oh. out here. It's nice. You sound like Texas. No, I mean, like I can just open my back door and just start shooting out the backyard. <laughs> yeah, with uh, literally, if I shot a gun outside the house, it would hit the hospital. Oh man, <laughs> we don't do that. <laughs> I'm not admitting anything on air. <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> I'm only saying what sell the back of my house. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's funny. 
<laughs> oh, you know what? It makes it so much easier now. I, I had it on private chat over here. I couldn't see the chat and see everybody else. So I had to like keep going back and forth to the YouTube video. Mm-hmm. But I, never mind. I see the live chat now. I was like, what mm-hmm. the heck? <laughs> I actually have YouTube chat to the side so I can see it. Yeah, I, I, I had it on. Tomorrow. I had it on this private thing, so it only had us. It only had literally us. <laughs> no, oh, oh man, we, it took DJ. I did the same thing. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I forgot all about it. I knew that it was there. I just didn't. I just didn't think about clicking on it. Yeah, I use it sometimes if I need to disappear. Oh, oh yeah, gotcha. like I can just say, "Hey, I need five seconds or five minutes to pick something up." Nice. And I'll just put type that into the chat. No. So for I me, the weird thing, I had to leave when Infinite and Swedish Traveler was in the live. <laughs> and so usually, I have. There. <laughs> I literally yeah. just said, "Do what you like." I was like, "I'm not in charge at the moment." <laughs> You're always in charge, Joe. Mm. Um, but yeah, usually I watch you. I usually have the computer set up. I watch the video over here. But right now, it's like a duplicate, like because I have it streamed on uh, Google Cast, Chromecast. So uh, here I can't read the chat because the chat is on the TV, and that's not how it should be set up. I usually have the computer set up. Hmm. I need to buy a new computer, but freaking everything that's starting to go on now, it's like I can't. We get all do. It sucks. <laughs> well, I, I had the money. Like I literally had two thousand dollars saved back just for a computer. I was going to just use that, dedicate it to a computer, monitors, everything. And then um, I haven't worked in three weeks, so I was like, well, I think I should take that money and use it for bills and keep it smart with it instead of just blowing it on everything. <laughs> so at the moment, mine. My- so-called laptop is just a Chromebook and yeah. it don't even do hardly anything you can't get apps and games that sucks Joe, yeah Joe and I go old school we <laughs> use some old school equipment like <laughs> I still historic. dude I still edit with some stupid programs I have better programs but I edit with the dumb ones hmm. so um, but uh so yeah, DJ. Um, in other words, uh, how? In other words, what's the? What do you want to do that mandates us? Uh, uh, in other words, Tom, um, because you could buy a used gaming computer for like two hundred and fifty dollars, and it's top notch to any type of streamer. Oh, that's cool. So you might want to really look into. There is. You do not have to go out and buy a brand new. Yeah. You know, um, yeah, there's a lot of people that even even that build their own systems. That's what so, I think. Again, I, under 500. That's what I was planning on doing. Uh, the only reason that was going to cost me, uh, the, computer, it's, the computer itself was going to cost me right around um, 1200 to 1600 bucks because I need a really good processor and, and a lot of RAM and stuff like that to uh, be able to video edit and everything else because a lot of the gaming computers they're good to game on but they're not good for like they don't have a good processor and everything else to to play the or to like edit videos and stuff because eventually i want to start editing like even more professional and better than what i'm doing now so so yeah okay so yeah if you're talking about um in other words uh running adobe suite and stuff like that to actually do any type of video photography, like real stuff. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. just, yeah, yeah, and, and so, like, yeah, yeah, like in the processors and stuff that I was looking at, just alone, they're like, like almost two, three hundred bucks just for like a decent one. And I'm like, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so that's it. But if I was gonna get it to like the computer I have now is great. Like it has has amazing everything. It just doesn't have enough RAM. If it had a little more RAM in it, it would it would play anything and everything I want. But uh, and the process is a little slow because it's 10 years old, but it's it's an all-in-one. So it's like literally the screen and the, everything's all-in-one. So I can't I can't do anything but change whoa, the... Whoa, 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 whoa. Your system is an all-in-one? Yeah. Like 
the the tower and the screen and that's all attached yeah it's all together is it a mac well is it an apple yeah it looks like one but it's an hp i'll take a holy shit i'll show it to you holy poo oh joe extra (laughs) dollar in the bucket i just slipped oh he said he said said the bad word i (laughs) said an s word yeah. Oh, okay, I, so. I'm gonna hate that bucket. <laughs> that bucket's gonna yeah. be full. So like, <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell, but there, like, you can see it, kind of. Hmm. It's just an all-in-one. It's like a TV screen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 That's all it is, and it has like the speakers at the bottom. It's, it runs good. It, everything works perfect. It's just, uh, like yeah, I'm the same way. TV. Yeah, the RAM. Yeah, it's it's the RAM and yeah, the processor. That's what it is. So like right now, um, but that's what I'm saying. That you can still get something that was good two years ago yeah. for a quarter for a quarter of the price. <laughs> yeah, right? I know. It's like this is my la- was my laptop. <laughs> hey, hey, that's the monitors. I thought about getting some. That's another thing though. So when you when you build a computer, or get a computer, you have to get the monitors. You got to get the keyboard. You got to get. I'm mm. like, oh, gosh. So it's been hectic. So the monitors that I was looking at, they were two hundred and fifty dollars a piece, and I was like, and that was on the cheap end of the monitors because I want two because the screen that I have now is twenty seven inches. The one I just the picture I just showed you that's twenty seven inches. Mm-hmm. So I want two of those though. I want to get two twenty seven right. inches. So yep. one will be like where that one is right here, and then the other one will be off to my my right side. Yep. So then I can have like my stream stuff on the right, and then everything else will be on the middle. So yep. then I could be like, do 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 do. Well, and uh, yeah. believe it or not, that right, my battery well, the, on this. On say this that again, one, Joe. On this one, I actually broke the battery. Oh snap! It over. That's it's not good. Charged. Kept, well, kept does it still work? It works, but <laughs> it, it works. Leaves <laughs> slightly in the wrong angle. It uh, turn off after uh, <laughs> three minutes. <laughs> Oh my goodness! So it, like you bump it and then you're like, "Oh my gosh, give me the cord!" <laughs> and you're like, Guys, oh, it's <laughs> completely dead. We need to just touch that cord. That's fun. The, la- around wait, the laptop I use, right? Um, mm. I can't unplug because if I do, there is no battery. Even though there's a mm. battery in it, it doesn't recognize it. So if I unplug it, it just goes dead. Let's see. I'll show you. So I don't even have a battery. <laughs> My Again, I love. I do have. I like room. dealing is with crappy ancient. equipment. It's a freebie yeah. from Virgin right. Media. Want a hard no. drive? You, want a, you need a DJ Wall's hard drive? Custom <laughs> one of one. Actually, there's two of those. You get one of those, you'll make millions. I got this computer. Technically, it's a computer almost. It's a tablet. <laughs> I use this thing. Say this thing has literally saved my life. This tablet, like for for weddings and stuff. When I'm like, mm. I can have a whole other system. I just take this, plug it in, halfway across the weddings, and it's there. And this That's is my nice. this is my computer. This is where the magic happens on this computer. <laughs> That's my tablet. <laughs> you want me to play some music for you, Joe? Get some copyrights going. <laughs> <laughs> I want to. I want to hold up an old flip phone and say, "Look, this is what I record on." <laughs> Just hold up an old flip phone. <laughs> um, is, I'll show you what I record on. Let me. Get I haven't even got one of those anymore. <laughs> this is what I record on. I think I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what we record, DJ. That's what we all record. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the back of my, one of my laptops that I had, which I can no longer use because the software's got no protection, and that's by Windows it won't have taken all internet security off it. So they basically said, "Don't use this; it can get every virus possible." So, oh man, I've turned the Wi-Fi off of it completely. So. <laughs> A backup of things on it occasionally, but yeah. that tablet is what I edit on. 
And if I can't get my videos onto it, it takes forever to do that. Yeah. I had yeah. a lot of my videos on my phone. Mm -hmm. 99.99% of my phone, my videos get edited off my phone. Yeah. Oh, I can't edit on my phone. I, I always, um, I use my phone to record and then I export it unless I'm doing live and then it's through the webcam. Yeah, I've only, but, I've only, I've personally edited every one of my videos except for two of them. And then I hired an editor for two of my videos and then I did. I remember I, that. I've edited every single one of my videos uh, on my phone except for a handful of them. And I did on the, I, did, I used to use my camera. My, I don't even know where my camera's at. Actually, I do. right here. I don't even know. I knew where where it was. I don't know why I said I didn't know where it was. So before I forget, you, over Christmas, my whole inspiration for doing a video every day was you, Blake. Yeah, man, do it. Every I single did. day, you can every do it. Every day <laughs> up until Christmas. And yeah. I could barely sit up over Christmas, let alone make a video. And I managed to put these videos That's together true. for... 25 days. That I was... Um, hold my phone. Dude, there's so oh, many people... That. There's so many More people that. that are like... That, that that can say... They're like, oh, it's not that bad. I could I could film every single day. I'm like, okay, go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. And then, and then in, in, in five days, I'm going to tell you to go shut the hell up and go leave me alone. because you, you don't understand how much stress and stuff this is every day. Yeah. Well, I had the yep. whole... Um, anorexic... Yeah, part Problem. to it, Joe. Yeah. And trying to get these, make these little two minute videos or one minute videos, it was just agony. Just trying to pick up the phone, sit up, and film. And yeah. Now, that's also why we love you, though, <laughs> because you did put, yeah. you persevered. You persevered. Like we all persevere. Yeah. That's what we have in oh, common. Yeah. That was my best video Christmas Day with the uh, um presents and, and you guys can all persevere. Tickets, which I got over a hundred views within that day it was. It's weird but, though, man. You never know what's gonna take yeah. off, which is so yeah. weird. Yeah. Like I, I never thought me like my most viewed video on my channel is me helping my neighbor get his, his tractor unstuck. And then going and buying some lottery tickets and a light bulb. And I'm like, what? <laughs> that makes no sense at all. Hmm. That's like that's your most video. watched video? Yeah. You got like, really? You got, you got like 30K. And it's like, why? And then the, the, <laughs> wow. my other the, the, the thing of it is, that's though, awesome. the thing of it is, though, and I guarantee in the next year, the, the golf cart yeah. video, I have a golf cart video on my channel, is probably going to pass it because that video gets pass like, it. it gets like seven, seven, eight hundred views a week. It's okay, crazy. So if if no one has seen his go, go watch the video, golf cart video, the golf I, cart I know video. after the live, I'm going after it. I want to go see what this is. It's now. like my third. I want to be the first to comment. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. It, the thing of it is though is like I was doing like really good videos. That's from, awesome. Like I went to California and I filmed and all kinds of cool videos of me in like Chinatown and stuff. And those videos have like 80 views seven views five views on my channel but nobody nobody ever sees them it's so crazy but that's like no. that's like so that's where it is though that's what i'm saying like and then and then all of a sudden one video you'll take off and the next thing you know it's like you, videos that are a year and two years old you're like that video is now getting views and it's so weird my so, most viewed get, video is a deal no deal where i played awesome. it three times and I've just been like the how many tickets I got. It was like literally that's all the idea was about the video was how many tickets will I get from playing three times. Yeah. And I got quite a few because the way the machine was set up, it was set up for winning tickets, not um, just the basic playing the game. Yeah. yeah. Right. So the highest you could win was 800 tickets. So so that golf cart video that I said has been getting like crazy views, it was my like <laughs> six, it was like my sixth or seventh most viewed video. Now it's my third most viewed video with 12,000 views. <laughs> and, and the thing of it is it's literally about to pass my 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 other video. 
Like it's gonna become that, the within a week or two, it'd probably become my second most viewed video ever. It's so, so when weird. did you put this out? When a did year, you put it out? A year ago. Mm-hmm. It well, says, okay. um, let me see what it says on here. It says, but it's the most viewed video on my channel. Like it was September first, so September first last year. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> you, so, well, again, um, okay. your watch time really matters, and so having something within the year. Yeah, but you know how much I made on that video? You know. Like twelve cents. <laughs> I'm being I'm being realistic with you. Everyone thinks they make a crap ton off YouTube. I don't make nothing. Twelve cents, I think. <laughs> Hold on, this is a whole new. Wait, this is a whole new live, right? <laughs> we'll all get together and we'll talk about what's real about. Yeah, this. yeah. Everybody, everybody wants to know. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I'm, I'll keep it. I keep it transparent. Like everyone's like, right. oh, man, everyone's making. Everyone wants to get monetized because they can make so much money. Right, they can not, make bank. It's mm-hmm. not like that. Not always. No. It, Well, no, not even with Super Chats. This is what I want to Mm. explain to people, you know, Mm. is that there's certain ways you can support people that are monetarily better for the host. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's true. Like like anything like uh, PayPal's and stuff like them are way better. Right. Yeah. Because the thing of it is, is like, yeah, yeah, because the problem with it is, is like someone donates me a hundred dollars. Say I get a hundred dollar donation it turns into a $70 donation and I don't get that for an entire right. month. And then they tax me out on it at the end of the year. So it's like, not only did I get taxed by YouTube, I get taxed by the right. government. So then by the time you're, it's all said and done, it's a $50 donation. So it's like crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, well, I, as far as I understand, it's 30, 35%, uh, yes. I guess up to 50%. Yeah, it's thirty. It's you know. well, it's thirty percent. They take thirty percent from you, and then yeah. but they still tax you at the end. But the government still Correct. taxes you at the end of the year. So right. then, right, right, <laughs> and then and then I I don't know what PayPal does. I forget if it's fifteen or twenty something. It's lower. If you send it through friends and family, you don't get taxed at all. So, heads up. Okay, that I don't know. Yeah. Okay. If you do, if you do good. Here's a s- hint. If you do goods and services, though, if people send it to you goods and services, if you get yep. more than like I think ten thousand, then they'll tax you on it. Yeah, well, because you're allowed a ten thousand dollar gift from any family member. So yeah. if they do it under family oh, and friends, it nothing. counts as a family member, right? So it counts yeah. as nothing under ten thousand. Yeah, well, at I, least in, I know in yeah. my state. Yeah, I don't know yeah. about overall, but I know. Um, yeah. I think overall, you can't get more than ten thousand on goods and services, even if it's separated. But overall, you still, it's like, it's whatever. Yeah. Like, so I'm looking yeah. here and I'm going to see, I'm gonna, <laughs> like, I'll, I'll tell you here, like my golf cart video. It's stupid. Joe, Makes pay sense. attention. <laughs> He's going to make us a lot of money. He's got the in. He's got the Ohio win. Come on. We just got to bet on this Duke. We got this Duke over here. Look, he looks like James Bond. Okay. We just got to invest in this James Bond character over here. Okay, so how much do you think a video with 12,000 views will make you overall? Uh, oh, just 12,000 views on one video? How much? Yeah. yeah. Couple how much? Dollar 20? No, it's more than that. It's a little more than that over the whole yeah. year. It was $30. Thir- or no, 30, 36 okay. bucks for 12,000 views. But the thing right. of it is, though, is that's like a hit or miss. So the people, if you're getting that like kind of views, you'd have to get that every single day to make a living. <laughs> oh yeah, correct. So, oh yeah, but no, that's like no, it's, uh, it took that yeah. much, and it took that much to make it. it that one video made me thirty seven dollars or thirty six bucks or whatever, in literally a whole entire year. So it's like I, I, I yeah. used thirty seven dollars just to go and fill my car up yesterday. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> so it doesn't just, matter, yeah, right? It doesn't, it doesn't help. No, so. no. You're still you you still you're the investment in your own channel. Yeah, exactly. Right. Mm-hmm. That's the whole scoop. It's like yes, everybody donates. It's great. Please don't stop. But yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> yeah. um, you got to understand what you donate and the way you donate. This is what I want to start getting into. Is the way you donate. It's like hey. Like we should really start thinking about yeah. again, if you want your name up on the channel, do the two dollar super chat. Say your say what you want to say, but then donate for real at PayPal. 
Yeah, that makes because sense. Because that, that way yeah. you that way you get your name shouted out. Yeah. And you also supply the best chain of money. Yeah. yeah. So my golf cart video yeah. in the last in the last forty eight hours, the thing gained two hundred and four views in forty eight hours. It's like the video doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it doesn't make no sense. It's like how is this video getting? How's this? I can't make, wait to see this. Okay, this is gonna be fun. It's literally us going shopping for a um, golf cart. Joe, Joe, you could pull this up. You do know that you have command of the channel. You <laughs> can pull this video up, and we can all just watch oh, it God. right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny though. But a lot of my videos back in the day, you just look at them, and it's like, what the hell am I doing? Like, there's a video I think oldest. On, I don't know if you ever seen the hippo hunt video. That one's kind of. I don't know if it's set private or not. <laughs> I don't know if it's no, set private it's or not. It's not. It's not. It was six years ago on my channel. It was like my one, two, three. It was my fourth mo. It was my fourth video I ever posted. It was me and my buddy Hippo Hunt. It was so weird. We like we exploded a hippo, like a, a fake hippo. Peter don't. <laughs> yeah. Peter don't Thank him. God. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it <was> a, <laughs> Hashtag animal lovers. Right. Animal. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Tiger King over here. Right. Oh, Go on. What's your story? <laughs> Have you guys seen that yet? No, not oh, yet. No, not, no uh, everybody. Weirdly, my my roommate told me it before yeah. it was a hit, and all of a sudden it became a hit. And I'm like, okay. So, Joe, yeah. have you seen it? No, I've been watching the <laughs> show with Big Show from WWE. In. Oh, nice. Um, actually i thought about you the other night you and my buddy joe i thought of you guys last <laughs> night actually so i was on my i turned my tv on and i clicked on the thing and it, it popped up it's a 24 hours wwe i was like oh i bet joe and my buddy's watching this <laughs> i thought about that i was like gosh damn but yeah like if you go it's so crazy if you go to my channel and go back to like the first videos ever they're so cringy like because i posted my youtubes on there like uh or my youtube my i posted my snapchats when i first started out there's so many like just stupid videos on there that just doesn't make any sense just like dumb stuff dumb dumb stuff i actually did go yeah. back a while back and watch like a video from i think it was seven months ago later on one of them and just to, because sean said i'll go back like seven months and see what the difference is in some cha your favorite channels videos so i did that with you infinite and sean and a couple of other channels and it, yeah it's cool it has changed since them videos were done it's so crazy isn't it to see that though like how the how the mm. how the, the difference went because it's so funny to me because like i remember when i first started youtube i had like a hundred subscribers and i remember saying mm. to people I'm like Hey guys, hit the subscribe, blah, 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 blah. Let's go. Like, and then next thing you know, it's just like a blink of an eye, and you're like, How do we get here? <laughs> but it's so it's such a struggle though. It sucks still either way. I hate it all overall. It, I love it, but I hate it. It's a love-hate relationship. <laughs> but I do it because I like it. So I don't do it because yeah. I really I know yeah. YouTube I at the moment I just don't like YouTube the way it's being run because a robot can't determine a real user watching the videos oh, so i i don't know if you had the, oh, infinite have you uh are you mon you're not monetized yet are you you're almost there i'm so, not really um, <laughs> yeah yeah well uh, yeah I, I lost a lot of hours uh, but um yeah okay. but i'm still i'm still close if i wanted yeah. to so if so i want to right yeah. So what happened was um, YouTube sent me a message. I don't. I think a different. I, I was trying to think because I thought you. I thought you were monetized. All, I, I, for some reason, I thought you were. But anyways, no, um, um, we just accept donations. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but Plug, YouTube, go to go to <laughs> infinite one at PayPal dot me. You know, you know how to do. It. Okay. But uh, YouTube <laughs> sent me a letter. So when I click on when I click on to monetize a video, they let me pick the they let me choose if what the video discretion is now. They let me do it. They don't let they don't they don't make it automated anymore for me. They say, "Hey, we trust you. Go ahead and just go ahead and judge it yourself, Blake." And I said, "Okay." <laughs> yeah, I'll see if I can show it. Wait, I don't. Yeah, they let wait, me do it myself. 
Uh, judge what yourself. I'm trying to they let me judge wrap my, my head around uh, my, what you just said. So they let me judge my um, – when you go to monetize a video, you, mm -hmm. you click on what you want to monetize. And then right. what happens is when I click on it, it comes up and says, hey, here's a checklist. Is your video this? Oh, video this is video? how you want to okay no. market it. Well, it, it it like it asks it asks me to to gauge my own video because like you know if you post a video and it gets demonetized and then they come back and say well it had sexual this in it or or it had uh, right. language or it sure. had this in it or this in it so I can set it on there. It wants YouTube wants me to do it myself to gauge it and I'm like okay. <laughs> So like I think a couple other creators had it happen, but I haven't heard anybody that got it that's got it like that yet. So I don't know. I'm gonna see if I can show you. I'm gonna try to pull it up. I'll take like a video. Yeah. And I'll so again, uh, DJ, this is weirdly. This is why I'm saying, like, I don't mind being monetized because people can do a two dollar super chat and tell me something in the room. Right. Yeah, exactly. Um, but the whole idea is that, no, um, I, again, whether it's PayPal or whether it's a different source, right? Um, yeah, you don't have to super chat through um, YouTube. And that would make it so that we would avoid any type of... Uh, extra in other words they take the 30 percent yeah yeah no that's it's the truth like and if yeah. you can't and it's smart to do it the opposite way so i just took a video i'm gonna show you like what it does for me so yep i'll show you guys um right here so like when you go monetize a video you ask you here if you're let me see if i can get it up there or not uh, right there so i click yes on the video and it pops up this screen now and it, it's hard to see, but it literally has like all these options yeah. of like it says, "Is your video this? Is your video this?" And then if you click yes, and it, it lets me like say it's good or not. <laughs> okay. So it's so weird that I just think YouTube's under understaffed right now to where they're just letting the creators just say what they want. <laughs> <laughs> well, that last my last stream from yesterday <laughs> that actually lost half of the views. And it That's was weird. like 40 views it was plus. Hmm. And it just and disappeared? The, every hour. That's so one weird. One would disappear. So uh, I'm like so sitting weird. there going, um, I refreshed this. It was seven and about 20 minutes ago. Now it's 26. That's so weird. The only time mm. I've ever had that happen, it happened to one of my friends. And mm. uh, his channel or whatever he had... He, he was like, hey, look at this. And he he had this app and he would like like stuff or whatever or something. I don't know exactly how it worked, but he had like points and he could take those points and then buy subscribers with them. And I was like, what are you doing? And he's just like, watch this. And he clicked it and then his stuff would go like his his views and stuff would go up and his subscribers would go up. Hmm. All right. Actually, I think he did his with just subscribers. But then after like an hour, he lost them all. I was like, what's the point of that? <laughs> Mm. Well, so, I remember mm -hmm. when I was at around 500, right? That the tail, the scales would tip. You would yeah. see um, daily, right? You would see people added and then people subtracted. People added, people subtracted. Now, mm -hmm. I honestly okay. think, Joe, yeah. I think it's just what it is is that people go and make fake accounts, then they go and see if they can. Um, you know, uh, I don't know why they would go into a room, but probably financial reasons. So they'd mm -hmm. figure out how, but if none of us is engaging them, you know, cause we mm -hmm. don't recognize their faces and stuff, then, you know, and I think that's what I had to go through, you know, well, the, um, the around 500, well, that's happened. what I had to go through. What also happens a lot is is these people are going into like the, the grow channels. They're going into these grow channels and everyone's subscribing to them, but then nobody ever says anything after that. And then it's just their channel just right. is, and then eventually YouTube sees that there's no engagement, there's no nothing there. Right. You can watch this person, but 
you one time and they're just like two years later gone next thing you know yep but the problem with me is since i filmed so much every single day my numbers go like up and down up and down up and down because Mm -hmm. when i first started youtube you know it might be a year later or so and then the, the people start falling off and then people start coming on so it's just it's hectic (laughs) <laughs> it just yeah. it, it drives me nuts though the one thing that drives me nuts is is like um is like i get so close to something like i get so close to like five thousand, <laughs> and then next thing you know i lose 40 subs and then the very next day i gain 20 and then i lose 30 more and i'm like that's what joe's talking about <laughs> yeah, he, but a, on a smaller scale but that's what mm-hmm. joe's talking about yeah, it's happened to all of us joe it's yeah. happened to yeah. all yep. of us no, I yep. lose one every day <laughs> yeah. around four PM. Hmm. That's wait, well, maybe maybe that's when it like updates itself because I know it takes sometimes yeah. like a day or so to update the whole cycle of a lot of stuff. So mm. I don't know. That's so weird though. Yeah, because I think um, if I check now, it would probably say something totally different. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, it says I've got two extra subscribers right now. That's good. As I was at two, no, four, ten for the last week or so. And my view minutes for this last 27 or 28 days is nearly um, 7,000 minutes for the last couple of the the amount of time. Hmm. Oh, in your views, it says 7,000 minutes mm. or 7,000 or, or, or below. It's or, minutes for the last yeah, 25, 28 days. Oh. oh, for the past month. Now, yeah. what it matters, Joe, you do know it's the year, right? You do get that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it does matter the year. Yeah. <laughs> Well, and again, this is where it's funny because um, what like we started and we started strong and uh, happens though happens to everybody. Yeah, yeah, we we yeah we we had no idea, and so really within the first year we could have been monetized, um, but you get YouTube burnout. There's a like people don't realize that oh, it you're takes trying- a lot. This takes a lot to do, man. It takes a certain type of personality to be able to do it. Yep. You know, not everybody can do this. Now, this is why I appreciate people. Um, because, one, either they watch because they appreciate that, or two, they decide to take on the same challenge because they see worth in themselves, yeah. which is both great. You know, so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, though. It's like, and that's that's the that's the main reason why I started it, because I, I did Snapchat every time, and I knew Snapchat was starting to die before it died, because I caught it on the curve. And I knew that the curve was, I knew that the, the, we, were, we were at our peak. When I, when I was in Snapchat, we were in our peak. Like, it was crazy. And all of a sudden, it's, I, I felt it start to dip a little bit, and I said, we got to do something about this. We got to move. So I ended up moving to Instagram, and then when I moved over to Instagram, it, it, stories popped out and it just went it was at its peak again so i I hit it at its peak it's still and then musically came out i got that and i gained a couple people over there and i stopped doing it and the next thing you know uh i was like i'm gonna do youtube because everyone was doing these like youtube things they couldn't you know like everyone's like i'm gonna do 30 days of vlogging i was like that's that's crazy i do that every day on on snapchat what the hell and then i end up I tried it on I tried it on YouTube and I was like, oh my gosh, this is a whole nother animal. <laughs> it's a whole nother animal over here. Hmm. But you know, 930, 40 days strong, I'm still kicking. So do I hate myself sometimes? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but are we also like for me, honestly, it's like to have the community. Yep. That's <laughs> it's amazing. like especially during this time, I'd have no idea. Like, again, you guys are the beginning of my channel. Yeah. You know, you guys were all there, you Mm -hmm. know? So, um, yeah, it's just nice to see. Again, we're all going through it. (laughs) We're all dealing with it. 
and we're all making the best. And uh, again, just having fun with it. Yeah, I in this know. whole quarantine thing, it's actually it's been kind of overwhelming a little bit because I've lost out on a lot of money from DJing wise. Yeah. But yeah. then again, I've made up a lot of stuff because I've went and I've I'm not scared to work, so I went out and I put in some flooring, and I've been like help finish an apartment, and then I uh, I got my website up. I got I got my website launched again. I got new business cards coming. Like I've been pretty productive. Got my new studio stuff set up. You know, so it's like. I'm I'm taking the best out of it as I can go, you know. Uh, ah, <laughs> ooh, DJ's hot. Ooh, I'm trying, man. He's hot. You gotta keep on going. He's man. hot. Woo. You gotta. Yo, stay away from DJ. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, there's some Cajun coming off of him. <laughs> but I mean, that's just the thing, though. You know, like we can't do anything else. We might as well make the best of yeah. it. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's the only thing I wish I wasn't there. Distraction for people that might need it. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. A, you know, a good distraction. I do the Lego Harry Potter. I do the Marvel Lego. The when I can the hockey games. It's just okay. to me a distraction. Hold Even on. if I don't feel well, I'll try and be a distraction. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so here's a good idea, Joe. Um, like, go ahead and explain the Harry Potter game Lego, and DJ has to act it out. Oh my god! <laughs> Ready? Oh, god. Ready? Go! <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> DJ, you have to act out Harry Potter Lego. Well, game. I was acting. I was acting out like what he said. He said I had no clue, so I was like. <laughs> 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 Joe, he's your puppet. Me. He's your puppet, Joe. Go ahead, use DJ as your puppet. Um, I'm pretty sure Blake's thinking. <laughs> let's punch Infinite. <laughs> <laughs> How does that come through, DJ? How do you express that? In oh, uh, look at the time, guys. Uh, let me. Oh, uh, let me go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put me on the spot like that. Leave me alone. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, but I had to. That was too funny. Oh, man. Because that would be great. Somebody mimes somebody else. Can you oh, hear that? Oh, my goodness. Can you hear that or no? I don't think you guys could hear it. Hold on. Let me see if I do this again. Oh, that would be so funny. <laughs> somebody is somebody else's puppet. Oh, my God. It wasn't hooked up, so you could only hear it through my headset. No. <laughs> oh, hell no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you guys are crazy. Okay. How long have you been live, Joe? Two hours. Two hours. Oh, my God, Joe. You, you <laughs> silly. I watch, I watch time, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah totally. I said mini live. <laughs> You gotta, it's a, did you really title it as mini live? Every time yeah. I see one of his lives, it says mini live. It's like four hours long, and I'm like, dude, it's clickbait. <laughs> yeah, it's clickbait. Joe, Joe is doing clickbait. <laughs> your, your long live streams are probably like two, ten hours. Your mini live, <laughs> your, your mini lives are five. <laughs> I can't help it. Sometimes people join, and I feel bad if I don't stay for a bit longer. Then more people join in. <laughs> well, well, next, well, next, backseat grill is coming on. We'll come off for a little mm. bit, and then we'll just switch hosts for a whole like four-hour session. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> that would be great, JJ. Everybody, oh my god, that would be okay. epic. Oh, everyone is crazy during their live stream. We'll just have them in a little. Little panel box up here. <laughs> Why they're doing their live stream? It'd be like the, TV, like the TV channel when you see like six or eight basketball games going on at once. <laughs> when you want to listen to, dude, we'd scramble people's brains. Oh, this is what would happen. People would be like, overload, overload, overload. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nuts. But it would be funny to do eight, at least eight different channels doing it. Yeah, that you could handle. Yeah, that's pretty funny. 
I yeah, can, eight channels though. Wow, I can, I can barely handle my own channel, let alone eight other. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> That's why right I, I, feel, I feel so bad sometimes because like I can't watch everybody, and I try to watch as many people as I can, and I try to inter- I try to go into oh. like this as many times as I can. But the thing of it is, is like, oh, I, mean, I get so so. Yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, it, it really is. Yeah. I've yeah. got four hundred channels plus, and it's like. You spend yeah. your how can I do it every yeah. day every comment on their video? No, I do I do try to cycle through people. So yeah. even if I can't watch every video, I do try to um, find videos that especially if it's doing good for them. Yeah. But that's the video I want to really support. Yeah. You know, so you watch through that whole one. But yeah, it's impossible. I try my it, it really is. Every you day can't. to watch a video from someone and it really does take up most of my day Crazy. that I'm yeah. just going through YouTube. You, even some days I'm forgetting one of yours and it's like I have to go back and watch it the next day and I've got about three in a row to watch. <laughs> yeah. and, and That's why like, I sometimes get three comments a day. DJ, DJ <laughs> has to work, right, and make a YouTube video. Yeah. So, well, like, sure. DJ, like, it's like he has it, like, Twice as much, yeah. Triple like, some stuff. Time. Well, sometimes you know, it would be it would be great if you could record your job, but you can't. <laughs> I can, but I can't. Yeah, I mean, I can right. record exactly, it, but I can't because right. it's copyrighted. Yeah, so it's like right, right. If I could do my job on a live stream, that'd be pretty cool because I would just go live. And I've did it on Instagram a few times where yeah. I'll just, if I'm bored, I'll just turn it on and I'll set my phone up there. But um, yeah, I can't do it anywhere else. I'll get copyrighted. Mm. I actually yeah. got one of my videos taken down off Instagram for copyright music. <laughs> Damn. Your video got taken down by copyright music, you said? Yeah. What video? Or what was it? What I song can't remember it? what it was. It was either In the Air Tonight oh. by Phil Collins, <laughs> a live video. They get me all the time. someone else. But everything else has been fine. <laughs> no, you don't eat my finger. You have a your... You have a your show sign behind you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't eat my finger. What are you doing? Your show. At? Whose show is it? Your show. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's your show. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Um that I've I've get copyrights all the time, man. They try to copy they I got copyrighted from a video that was two years old. Just recently. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what you uh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got copyrighted on a video. It's it's a uh, it's a drone video. I did a drone video. They became too popular, so now you can't use them. Well, if you ever notice, when I first started doing chant, when I first started YouTube, and like when I had my first intro, my intro was longer. Now my intro is my outro. So yeah, the, the right. problem with it is is when I had it at one time, I had like an intro or whatever, and they copyrighted me for the old intro I used to have. Or the old outro I used to have. They, used, they started copyrighting me from my outro I used to have. So I had like 30 copyright strikes against me at one time. And I was like, what? Like, this thing has been up for six, eight months. You can't copyright me now. <laughs> like, what? And they're like, yeah, we can. So I just started switching everything over. I've been thinking about getting another intro. Like another new intro and another new outro and stuff. But it was like 20 some dollars for four seconds. And I was like, <laughs> I don't want to spend 20 seconds or I don't want to spend 20 bucks for four seconds. Well, so. yeah, well, it'll take, it'll take me a year worth of a video monetization to, to pay for it. To pay for it. <laughs> it will take me a year to get, get my money back. No, it won't. I to, anyway, but I have an intro and an outro. So that'll be two years before I get paid to get my money back. But it does depend on who you go through. Yeah. I mean, I could just make, right. I could make it myself and I wouldn't have to pay anything. Well, we make ours ourselves, and it's crap. <laughs> well, the one that I, the one that I made. I Wait, made, is crap a swear, Joe? I made it. Uh, yeah. I made Haley. No, it's intro. not. What? We made we we got you, Haley, we got her intro and outro made from a a source, but yeah, I got it. I made all of it. I put all the colors and stuff together for it. Her did outro. Did you design that? that? Yeah, on on the site. We went to a site and we got the thing, but the outro, I did all that stuff. Yeah. The outro, I did it all. The music, I did it. And then I picked all the colors and stuff. I helped you pick all the colors and stuff out. Yeah. No, I'm talking about the, um, the design. 
the actual effects no i don't i didn't do all the effects but i did everything else yeah because uh, honestly it's, it's i did yeah i can do I, pretty much anyone's yeah. that, would, that only costed like that i think her whole, thing, her whole thing costed like 20 bucks to make i had a wow. bottle of uh harry potter a drink and i filmed that <laughs> and that's what my intro is is a bottle of drink that's spinning around and oh that is what it oh i right forgot so it makes a yeah. really good pattern behind the photos so that's pretty brilliant it really is it, yeah and that's literally my in, intro now and outro parts and then what will happen is in like six months somebody will find a reason to copyright it and then you'll be like oh great no, no. no. <laughs> don't do that. I've never had to, I, I had to copyright <laughs> one time in my life since I've been on YouTube. One time, mm. and it was before it was cause somebody hit me up for one of my drone videos. Cause I used to do a lot of drone stuff back in the back in the day. Mm. Excuse me. Whew. And then, um, but anyways, mic check. Yeah, <laughs> um, I tried to drive my drone through the St. Louis Arch. I drove it over. I flew it over the Mississippi <laughs> River. I was in a whole other state. Whatever the state's next to it, I was in that state. I flew it over the river into the other state and tried to drive it through the arch. But anyways, I got some really cool footage. It was really cool B-roll footage if you were to use it for B-roll. And uh, someone hit me up. and was like, hey, I want to use this in a music video. And I said, okay, cool. Make sure you just you can use it on one circumstance. You have to put me in the video. Put the original video and the tag in the video. Okay, no problem. <laughs> they didn't tag me. So they used a, like, a, like a one to three second. Like, I know it was like a three second clip of the drone flying past the arch. And I copyrighted mm -hmm. got the the whole video got taken down from it. So you gotta be careful with copyrights. <laughs> they were like, you they they were so mad at me. I was like, I told you, you had one thing, just put my video, put my name in the in the credits or something. They like, oh no. Okay, well, goodbye. They had to redo the whole music video. It re mm -hmm. Yeah, well so I use um Ben Sounds a lot and I always try to remember. <laughs> <laughs> like at least ninety percent, <laughs> I remember to put them in the video. <laughs> I don't know where that's at or what that you is. Know. I don't think I never heard of Ben Sounds. I don't think. Oh, Ben Sounds is um, it's just a free music site that you oh. like. There's some free, and then there's some that you can pay for. Do you have to and put so it says hey put our put our name in the video or something? That... Yeah, well that's what I do. Yeah, I don't care. I put a link. I yeah, say I... music by. Yeah, well, I don't care. It's like they're helping you out, so it's like wow. yeah. Yeah, well, it's I've the same thing as promoting you guys. Music right. that I've got downloaded. Nice. Yeah. The same. You know, if people are cool. People are chill. You want to promote them. And I've forgotten yeah. every one of them, but none of them had on the thing. Make sure you put our name in the video. Uh, hmm. It's just. I've had it. You got to be careful. Video. Even with those ones, sometimes when it says put our name in it, you'll be fine. I put our name in the video before, and, and they still kick us out. Mm. They still copyrighted me before. Mm. What are you? What is that? Shameless promotion. What is that? MRE. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it tomorrow. Someone wanted it's, me to do it. Some people wanted did me. Did you to do read? It. Read what it says. It says chicken chunks white cooked. Ooh. That doesn't even make any sense. Maybe it's like Alfredo. I don't know what it's gonna be. Someone wanted me. I, to I don't know. I don't know, but this will be my second Amory. The first one was good, but someone wanted me to eat one of those for a whole twenty-four hours. Eat MREs oh. for twenty-four hours of just just MREs. A week, a week, and um, they call him uh, Jake, right? Uh, Jesse's son <laughs> calls him MRE. I can't say it, Joe, without the swear bucket. S H. You know the rest. I'm not going to do the swear it's bucket okay. thing. Yeah, sure. no, <laughs> Joe, I'm going to be in debt to you for the rest of my life. If this continues. <laughs> we can't. We can't swear on Joe's channel unless we put money in the bucket, <laughs> DJ. I, so be careful. I'll just use my sound effects to say that. <laughs> for me. Oh I, man, I don't cuss anyway. I try to not <laughs> cuss at all anyway. Honestly, I, well, I don't usually either until I, Joe comes around. I do, cuss, I do cuss sometimes, but not. Mm -hmm. like, I don't. Not on a regular basis. No, no, yeah. It was. It's very easy to keep things PG. What's actually like I'm playing Quibbage, and I'm playing um, Jackbox 18 plus. 
And well, it's hard to get oh. people to. I thought you said Quidditch, like as Harry Potter. Oh, no, no, quippage. <laughs> yeah, what is it called? Quiplash. Oh, it's called Quiplash. And so, um, yeah, but it's funny trying to get um, people to start being adult orientated. Yeah. You know, because everybody's used to so being PG. It's like, no, we get to cut loose a little bit. Yeah. They're not used to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not then used to it at all. Then you got to be careful, though, if you're doing it on YouTube and then you make it a little less PG or whatever, and you go like that. And then next thing you know, when you try to get monetized, they review your channel. And then they see that one video like that, and then they get grumpy. And then they're like, no. Yeah, well, it, it, well, again, this is why I'm saying monetization doesn't really absolutely matter. What matters is that people want to support you. Now, yeah. when you do super chats, you get instant mod of instant recognition for chatting that money. But it's not where the money needs to really go. Yeah. So retraining people to accept that there's a different way to donate and to support your channel, yep. the smart people are going to pick that up in a heartbeat. Yeah. I mean, it's been a, it's been a struggle sure. since I first started. I, I first started when I was doing YouTube. I was like, hey, you guys can do the PayPal stuff. And it's still, people are kind of weird about it, I think, because it's so weird to me that people are weird about PayPal, but they're not weird about Super Chat. It's like, they, they don't like they see the money pop up on the screen, so they think, yeah. like, oh, like, oh my gosh, okay, the money went through, but then they see it on PayPal, and it's like they just think that you're gonna like steal their whole identity or something. Which PayPal is probably more safe than anything else, anyway. Hmm. So, I don't know, it's crazy. Well, I, I honestly think, me personally, personally, I think what it is is that they like they like to be recognized, and I want to. That's exactly right. Yeah, I mean, well, I, I don't want to take that away. That's why I'm saying, do the two dollar, yeah, do the two dollar one. Say what you want to say. Yep. Right. But then be a smart donator. I know a lot of people that will pay. You know, be a will write, will write notes, and then I just I say I still shout them out, and I read the notes off PayPal. Hmm. Yep. Yeah. I'm like. Oh snap! Joe donated twelve dollars on PayPal. Let's read it up here. Okay. Oh, Joe. Joe. You know. Joe. Holy! You donated what? <laughs> well, hold on, hold on. Wait, hold on. Let, let's see if I can do this right. Now I didn't tell you you could donate twelve dollars to DJ. I don't want to see you spend that money anymore. Now get back into your cupboard like Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. but, yeah, no, that's just how it is though man it's like it's true but i, I but then the same with stream labs if you donate through stream labs it doesn't they don't take as much either they don't take as big as a hit if you go through stream labs and they donate i think it's it's less than 30 percent. i don't know exactly what the percentage is but it's like 10 or 12 or 15 percent, i think so that helps a lot too and you still get recognition because right. it pops up on the screen. Yeah. Right. And then, well, and again, a good host will also be able to, like, it's very easy for us to probably put up on the screen, you know, a little thing that says where people pay from PayPal. It's probably something I can look on Google and find out how to do. Oh, yeah. So, so mm -hmm. you can give people instant recognition still. Well, the thing you know, is, if someone sends you a PayPal... You could open their PayPal message and you could have the set on their PayPal message or whatever. And you could do two screens like this. And even if you're using StreamYard, you could have two screens and then yep. you click it and it goes straight over to your PayPal and it'll be zoomed into the, just the spot of the message and the donation. So they still get the same recognition anyway. Yep. Not, and then you won't see nobody's information well, or anything. And if you're using Streamlabs, yeah, I right. just already cut out. You can you oh, well, you can also copy and paste like this action makes this action happen. Oh yeah. So yeah. you this right. Is, oh, I got I can't pull it up because it's all zip tied up. But I got a stream right. deck. I got a stream deck down here. So it, like, and I can literally just say, change my scenes from a click of a button. One button it switches mm -hmm. scenes around. I can click one button. It, it'll like do the super chat things and stuff and all that. Yeah, Joe. Are we gonna go review his video real quick? 
I just want to see a quick snippet of it before we go. <laughs> like, I seriously will, because we have three people, I want to see what it looks like with three people and okay. the screen. Okay. Because this is new screen. Um, it's it's a it new stream yard thing. Not oh. Because of the... I can send you the link. Where to link go to the, the side. But I can yeah. pull it up. If you just click I on... I think what he's saying that... It's going to be choppy, though, I think is what oh. he's saying, which usually happens with StreamYard. StreamYard does, it's a little choppier, but it also is wicked user-friendly. Yeah, it is so, definitely user-friendly, yeah. for sure. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> it's super simple, which that's what people want. They want it's stuff. so funny to see you shaving, by the way. <laughs> it's super funny. I look, yeah, I look it's so funny. Much younger. You do. I, I wanted to say that earlier in the video, and I was like, I don't know if he's going to take that as an insult. Hey, I'm like, but you do. You look super young. I don't know if that helps or not, but I sent you the link in the private chat. I don't know if that'll actually even work. Don't think it works. Okay. I don't think it works. Yeah, like... Oh, it should work. Yeah. If he went over to the private chat, okay. it should work. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know. It's so funny though because in this video, I'm it's my old intro and it's like my beard is like kind of crazy <laughs> and it's like <laughs> still super young because it's you know it's a year ago so I look younger even more so it's weird and then I'm talking about like a scooter like a little like a little like scooter. Hey, we're selling the scooter right here. We got this golf cart. We're gonna be pimping it out today and I'm just kind of like just little shit like that stuff like that <laughs> okay so is this before is this before or after the super fast scooters no no that you rode no this is super slow it's like it's like grandma scooter that like do you remember the fast ones you rode that you drove in somebody's garage like you took it oh, it, it looked like it was a storage no, shed. No. this no 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 this is yeah there's this no this is okay oh yeah you skipped through it though you're, you're kind of in the that's the, we're already in the shop when we go to buy the bodies and stuff like we this is our Ooh. new body we got right here <laughs> so the actual golf cart itself doesn't have any uh because i was with my dad there's my dad right there and then um cool he let me pick out whatever he was like just pick out whatever you want he goes for the golf cart because it's his golf cart but i was like oh uh we, we decked it out he let me do whatever we wanted for it so it's kind of cool. So we got like steering wheels. We bought a new windshield. We bought wheels and tires for it. Um, there's the front end of it. We got headlights. There's our wheels. Look at the them are the rims for the golf cart. <laughs> Holy moly! Yeah, there's the body for it. Um, we had a USB port in it, so you could like plug your phone into it and stuff. That's the golf cart. So that's the golf cart originally. It's just like, <laughs> you would see at a golf course. And then we put these rims and stuff on it. Like, look at that golf. And you pimped your ride. Yeah, all in one video. It's so crazy. But you see, it it like it was crazy. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, it's a basic golf cart right now, which is so funny. This thing is kind of cool. How you can here like, we go. There's okay. So we decked out the steering cover, like just the basic. You know, we're putting a steering wheel on it and everything. A new steering wheel. Um, a new dash. We put a new dash in it too. It's like it's so funny. See, this is pretty cool. Like I like this. This is, you can kind of like, you could do, um, like you could like reenact like your old videos. You can like go through and like, you know, you can talk about cringe your... at, I cringe at yeah. our old videos. But that's what we did last time. We cool. just, we, Jesse and I just cringed at some old <laughs> videos, like our intro and stuff. Oh my goodness. But this is still a cool, actually content video. I can see why people still like it. Yeah. I don't know. It's crazy to me. <laughs> you will. <laughs> It's pimping a golf cart, dude. Yeah, I guess. How many, how many teenagers a year say how to pimp a golf cart? Right, <laughs> right. And, and <laughs> that's what you need in your tag. Make sure you have in your tag pimp your golf cart. I don't even know what my tags were on it, honestly. It's, right. It's, I know because it's so old. I know yeah. that's the scoop. <laughs> we forget. Yeah. Yeah, like it's just something like we're like ripping the front off the golf cart. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, have you ever driven a golf cart, Joe? No. <laughs> have you ever... I haven't either. Really? I, I've driven a go-kart, oh, but I... not a golf cart. I used to race go-karts. Okay, so this like part... Like so soapbox or real ones? Oh, real ones. Like actual like flat track go-karts. Like 
40, 50, 100 mile an hour go karts. Yeah. Okay. There's no video of that you can show us. Um, I got pictures on my. I don't think I have actually a video of it. I don't think I because it was way before. It was when I was a little bit younger. But I had. Well, a, yeah, but I'm I'm saying like someone that didn't have a VHS camera or something. No, not off the top of my head. I I end up having. <laughs> Like I have pictures of them though, of my go karts and stuff like that. It said like, and everything. I was at the track and stuff, and me racing. There was like pictures of it. But that was it. Okay, there we are putting the lights in it. We cut out the lights and we put the new. There's the new dash. That's sick. That's all yeah. carbon fiber, like literally carbon fiber dash. <laughs> and that's the new headlights and stuff in it. It's so crazy. Let's see if I can pull up a picture of it and my go karts. I had like seven go karts, seven different go karts. It was crazy. Mm. Okay, so Joe, we're gonna send you one for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you assembly required. <laughs> no, you need to go start driving it around. Well, we send him all the go kart parts that he has to put together. <laughs> His mother would kill us. She'd kill us. Mm -hmm. Would she be that mad? Because look, look, mm -hmm. look, look how different right. the go kart looks are the golf cart looks already. It's a new for him. Dude, he lives in the city. <laughs> like they can't have a golf cart in the we're house. Allowed. What the? Heck? Where would they put it? <laughs> we're, we're allowed to drive our golf cart around on the street. Well, yeah, you have area, dude. <laughs> Joe lives in a tight little town, like area city. You mm -hmm. live in open fields. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So like that's the original tires right there, and then right there is what the new tires look like. It's so crazy, Joe. Quick question. Mm -hmm. Could we get away with sending you it, right? If we told your mom it was the new dining room table that everybody's <laughs> buying. <laughs> Could we tell her and just put a tabletop on it and just call it a dining room table? She'd skim me alive just for getting a coin pushed <laughs> off. <laughs> so, let me see here. This picture's hard to see the go-kart. Um... Yeah, here's a picture. It's hard to tell though. It's so it's so crappy. That's a picture of me in the go kart, one of my go karts. That's cool. And then now, are these electric? No, gas, gas. They ran on like brick. Oh, like, wow. Five, five horse. But this is my this is one of my other go karts I had. It's a like a flat track. It was like a block still motor and stuff on it. Was I think would haul. That's cool. Yeah, they would go on that go kart right there. This one here, I would go around the track in like three wheels. It'd just be bop, 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 and it was all the way around the whole track like that. It was so nuts. It was cool though. Did not start YouTube earlier. He's like, I have these pictures of me racing, like I'm the orange, the orange car right there racing around. I just have pictures of it. Dude, all you need to do is mount the camera on the top of it and just drive it around. Yeah, I could have. Oh my goodness. So now we took the whole seat and everything off, and now we're putting like the new body on the back. It's so weird. It's so weird to see this. We have no roof on it no more. <laughs> <laughs> the roof's all gone. Everything's gone off the cart. It's so weird. It's weird watching my video. On this old. <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. DJ is now. DJ. DJ, <laughs> would you like to lay on the couch and tell me about your mother? <laughs> I was worried about copyright yeah. playing songs and he's playing my entire video. <laughs> you know, he gets a copyright from Blake. <laughs> well, no. Well, I'm in the video and I get I copyright him. No, I'm, just <laughs> I'm pretty sure because we're talking through it. It doesn't no. count. No, it, yeah. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wouldn't do it anyway. Oh, my goodness. Hey, I'm just letting you have it as long as you want it on. <laughs> no, you're good. Did you... Did you do two hours later in this video? Did you really put that in here? Yeah, because it was literally like two or three hours later. It was so long. I, I know, but you used the SpongeBob. Like, were you doing arcade videos at this time yet? Uh, no. You're right, but you used an arcade video reference. Interesting. Uh, two hours later. I don't know. I just thought it was funny from SpongeBob. Uh, or it was a prophecy. <gasps> You know, like DJ will play arcade yeah, games, up. won't he? <laughs> it was all because of the arcade couple that I actually got started into doing more and more of the arcade stuff. Oh, really? It was them? Uh, I'll, ca they, I'll call them out on it. <laughs> they were the first, well, they were one of the first people to find me. Oh, really? They yeah. were the same for me, the first arcade lot, the message to me. Yeah, they found one of my videos, and then I did, that was one of the first YouTube collabs I ever did was with them. Because and they and, and when I was when I met up with them, I had like 150 subscribers, and they had like 300. 
So mm. now they're at, like, Brilliant. they're at like 10K and I'm at like five. So, you know, it's, it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, no, that's brilliant. Yeah. So we've all gained a lot since the last two years. So this is like, now you can see this. I got like this cover and everything on it for the golf cart. Because before they had like the bags where you could put your golf things in. So you had to put the covers and stuff on it. It's so weird. <laughs> this is so so weird. did you guys um, have to, like, is it um, Plexi? What are, you, what are you using? No, it's, it's an actual body. It's an actual golf cart body that they sanded down and painted like that. It's all painted. It's all free. Okay. Like, it's hand painted and like pen striped and everything. Yeah, that's sick. Yeah, I I can see why people watch this video it's because weird. it's a cool ass. Oh, there you go, J Joe. Another dollar, whatever. <laughs> okay, but it's really cool, DJ. Yeah, it's, it's cool. a great design. Yeah, I yeah. Know. And then it's like we put the taillights in it and everything else. So it's like just like a whole setup of just randomness of where we had to cut the holes out and stuff with the head taillights and. And uh, yeah, it was cool. We and we and our we our gar a little, little, little I can't speak our golf cart before this one. We had a stereo system in it. We had spe we had speakers and everything in it, and we were jamming out. And I got in trouble with that one because I drove it to the school and I drove it on the cross country course, and the and they got in big trouble because I passed one of my dad's friends on the road with it. Because this golf cart here will go like forty mile, or it won't go forty. It'll go like probably like twenty five. So it'll. Am I doing the wrong way? <laughs> there you go. You're the right way. Yeah. See, now you got like a little cubby hole down there. You can <laughs> work stuff. <laughs> it's crazy. No, I'm not. There you go. Yep. Now, see, you can see the whole golf cart, like how it went from being like a green golf cart to legitimately a, a whole pimped out golf cart. Technically, now has like a back seats and wheels and like steering wheel and carbon fiber. So everything yeah if you guys want your golf cart pimped out make sure you contact djb wells come on over we'll um <laughs> yeah well i want i want a spider-man one now yeah bring it on over we can get it done yeah <laughs> cool i want a spider-man one <laughs> this is us driving it now we're going out, and about. <laughs> we're out and, it's like literally that's outside of my house at, in the middle of the night <laughs> we're out because it took us all <laughs> and we're like <laughs> it was summer because the grass is green yeah, it was it was summer. It was, so, <laughs> yeah. it was crazy though, but it looks so different though. If you really think about how it. fast does it go, uh, like twenty something, probably twenty five. Probably it's 20. No fast enough, fast enough to hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Well, it's well, our golf cart before that, I passed somebody with. Like that's how I got in trouble because I was driving it. I drove it to school, not without permission, and I drove it to school, and I passed my dad's friend. I was driving on our back road. I was going like 40 mile an hour and, just brrr, and I passed him. <laughs> and then next thing you know, I, I, my dad's like, or my dad's buddy came over to the house and he's like, that golf cart looks pretty familiar. He goes, I think I seen that pass me the other day. And then that's how I got caught. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I saw that go cart before. <laughs> yeah. That's what happened. And I got caught because of that. Well, your town can't be that big. Of course, they saw it before DJ. What did you think? Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. It's pretty big, decent. Yeah, it's all right over here. Dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Yeah, Joe, what do you think of my golf cart? You like it? It's really cool. <laughs> Come on over. It'll take you for a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been on a golf cart, either of you? I've never been on one. <laughs> Again, a go kart, a never, golf cart. No, never, but a go kart. Yeah, you, you never even been in a golf cart, like on a golf cart. No, I've swung of <laughs> golf. Uh, I've, I've swung at. I've driven and I've putted. I probably. But that's about I, it. I, I've drove yeah. a lot of stuff. You name it, I might have drove it probably. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, wait. Okay, this is PG thirteen. There, DJ. Yeah, I mean, I'm being honest. I'm being, I'll keep it. I'm keeping it. Uh, I, I drove like I drove a hearse to school. Uh, I mean, how many people could say I drove a hearse? I drove a hearse to school one time. <laughs> that was funny. It was a teacher's birthday, and I drove it to a school on her birthday, and I drove it around in circles. <laughs> and she thought they were coming for. Her. It had a little yellow light on it. It was like going around. It was an old Cadillac. It was so funny. It had a it had like a, like a little coffin in the back. It was it was so crazy. Drove it to school. Everyone thought we were crazy. 
I wish I wish we could record everything all the time because I, mean, I, I need to see. Hold on, I need to see that. If I would have if I would have if I would have been recording since I was in high school, it'd have been crazy. I had a mohawk in school. I had all kinds of crap. It was nuts. Crazy. Well, okay. So, what was everybody's favorite topic in high school? Not today. In high school, what was their favorite topic? Well, my ta- my favorite topic in school is still my favorite topic now. Like I love history. Oh, history buff. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not like really good with it, but I like learning about it. Y- you like it, right? It's interesting. Like, I might not be good at it, but I like it. I, li- I like, right. science. I like science class a lot though because you could like do cool stuff. But I didn't like any of the homework of anything. No, oh, but learning boring, about the past, so nothing. He says nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing bull. You, That's you, bull, Joe. You have to, like so- there is things. Even sports was boring. You didn't like gym gym. class? Come on now, gym class. You didn't throw like- a tennis ball. No dodgeball. No fun games that you would see online. You didn't play dodgeball. No. What? They're too worried about hurting people. <laughs> That's crazy. We had. I, I think everything. Well, I think Joe would have probably been really good with um, possibly, again, what I probably would have been good with is um, social studies, where like, you actually, yeah, yeah history, learning social about social history. behavior, right, right? History and social behavior, right? Exactly. Oh my gosh! Somebody just sent me a Snapchat. Why is there people mm-hmm. down? downtown dressed in hazmat suits <laughs> there's people dressed in you can't really tell but dang it but there's people i guess downtown dressed in hazmat suits one of my friends sent me i'm like oh boy <laughs> no clue now i'm wearing a hazmat suit right now but it's just for kinky reasons oh boy PG. <laughs> PG. joe is that another bucket is that another um, dollar? It might be filling it up now. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna be rich, man. You're gonna have you're gonna have all <laughs> you're gonna be, you're, Oh man, you know to do, you're gonna be able to buy a golf cart before you're done with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but see, okay, so when you drove a go kart, let me see this. Like when you drove a go kart, was it like a little go kart, like at like the go kart place, like the go kart at the like the. Like, uh, well, no, you could take the governor off. So it is a golf cart. You take the governor off, and so you can zoom, zoom, zoom. So it was actually like a real go kart, go kart, like where you actually could. Yeah. Drive, it wasn't like on a track. You could drive it out in the out and about. Um. Or, yeah, but we still drove on a track. Yeah, well, that's cool then. So yeah, out yeah. and about, but still on a track. Yeah, I had a like a my cousin or my cousin had an off road go kart where you could drive it off everywhere, and I flipped it over as a kid. I know all kind of crazy stuff, man. Crazy. Yeah, I got flipped. Uh, yeah, I got flipped over <laughs> on um, uh, ATVs, the three wheelers when they used to be the thing. They would eat your foot. <laughs> well, to- I got flipped off one. Well, it tried to like run you over, and then things are painful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the three wheelers, right? And so the four wheelers became much more popular. <laughs> yep, I had a I had a couple four wheelers. I drove three. I drove all kind of stuff, man crazy yeah joe what is what's something you have drove have you ever have you ever driven anything joe no yes come no, on no. it has to be something okay. a lawn a bike, that's about it a bike. okay wait we we have a 2020 we have a 2020 goal here <laughs> that joe has never driven anything you need to drive something by the end oh of the year. <laughs> we might have to have a goal uh-oh <laughs> What's the most crazy Uh-oh. thing you think you've ever drove, Infinite? Oh, um, what's the craziest and what's the coolest thing that you? What's like your favorite favorite oh, thing you've ever driven? And you're in like the it could be anything, it could be like anything. What's yeah, that? I'm not I'm not a really high risk person, so I would have to say that um, a motorcycle. Never and fun. yeah, I I went probably about ninety on it, and I was good. I was good at ninety. I don't. I don't need to go faster than that. Um, <laughs> I look. Yeah. I love. Um, there's something about motorcycles that is really, if no one's ever driven one, and you were like, I guess as a kid, you were somebody that rode a bike. It's just phenomenal. Yeah. 
you know, to ride a motorcycle. Like I drove, a, I, I rode a bike and I did BMX for a little, like I did some like BMXs and stuff at my buddy's house. We'd build ramps and stuff and hit, hit ramps. And oh yeah. Too. Oh yeah. And then, and then we went from that to like dirt. I drove, I rode some dirt bikes and stuff before. And then I went from a dirt bike to, um, I never owned a dirt bike, but I went from that to a, uh, uh, like four wheelers and stuff, and then I went from that to like so on and things. But yeah, dude, that's go karts are, are, are like those things are fun though. Like uh, motorcycles, like I had one, and it's so much fun, so much fun. Yeah, my very first motorcycle was a uh, rice burner, um, <laughs> a 1974 <laughs> Suzuki pulled out of the um, yeah graveyard, and my friend actually got it running. And so I drove that around for a couple summers. And again, um, then my friend bought bikes. And so I just go on bike rides with them. Heck yeah. It, yeah. It's just, uh, yeah. Just <laughs> there's something bike. about driving. Yeah. There's so much fun. A motorcycle. There. Yeah. I've only ever had one and it was a Suzuki Gatana. Or, yeah. Oh, it, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a fast okay. bike. Right. It's it's yep. like it's like kind of it's like the not the it's like the Suzuki Gatana or whatever so it's like in between so it's kind of like a road slash street bike Correct. and it yep. was it wasn't too crazy but it would top out one thirty and then um, <laughs> and then my cousin, had, my cousin had brought a bike over and his bike was a like a Yamaha something or whatever and that thing would go like two hundred and I topped that thing out or I didn't top it out but for me I got it to I think one. 55 160 and i was like yeah we're good <laughs> yeah. we're good and it was, that was in like a second so like womp, 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 womp. and you're like you look down you're like 100 and i remember i looked down i was at one uh i was at 130 and i remembered i was like well i've already did 130 let me just go a little more and i think <laughs> like, no. it was like 150 mm -hmm. 160 and it was like <sighs> we're like yeah we're good <laughs> it, it's scary when it gets, when it gets over 100 for me, like, again, I, um, so, uh, yeah, I don't do amusement park rides. I don't do roller coasters anymore. I loved them when I was a kid, uh, but now not. And so, yeah, even just uh, my roommate, yeah, my roommate brought me, um, he has a Mustang. And, oh, nice. uh, yeah, well, he just, he, he went 100 in no time and it didn't feel like we were driving fast yeah. but once i saw the speedometer i was like <laughs> all of a sudden my panic attack started i was like no what's going on don't do this you can ride a, you can ride in my new car <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy my new car is pretty quick yeah 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 uh-oh <laughs> it is no go-karts for joe Joe Cart. Joe? Joe. Joe needs a go kart. Joe, <laughs> what? Yeah, what's the craziest? Like what? Okay, so I, I'm see. I'm trying to think. What would be something interesting Joe has did? Like what's something cool? Like, like have you ever went on an amusement park ride, roller coaster? I've done amusement parks when I was younger. You and like them? Not been to one since. Oh, you, do you <laughs> like them now? I just not really good on rides. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Mostly because of the queuing and stuff. Other than that, I don't mind them. Now, would you do bumper cars? Um, yeah. I would bump. Okay, there we up. go. <laughs> That'd be cool. There we go. There's a start. That's pretty much. Like a, <laughs> it's pretty much like a go kart. Hmm. Pretty cool. Except you can bump into each other, which is yeah. wicked fun. <laughs> yeah, they. Um, uh, you know the weirdest thing though is I used to love roller coasters and stuff like that, and then I went skydiving, and then I was terrified of roller coasters ever since I went skydiving. Don't really? know why. Yeah, I don't like I don't like roller coasters mm -hmm. at all. Like, I'll ride them. Like if I'm with a bunch of people, if like we all went and everyone's like, "Hey, let's go ride this," I was like, ah, "All right, let's go ride it." But if I have to stand in line for like longer than you know an hour or twenty minutes or whatever. And I just get like, I don't really want to do this. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't think it feel. I don't feel safe on them that much. Sometimes they don't. They don't. It's a queuing I don't like for rides. Then I just get bored. Yeah. And then want to go to the arcades. 
So yeah, it, that's me. I'll go to the arcades. If it takes more than five minutes to get on a ride. Yeah, that's how I am with a lot of stuff. It's like, oh, we got to wait in line. I'm like, oh, that's good. And because you overthink it, then you overthink it. I think. Yeah, and that's why like I was like, safety of something. Yeah, you start thinking of like Final Destination or something. You're like, oh my god, what if I? <laughs> <laughs> But then you know, Final Destination. <laughs> have you ever seen that movies? Like, wait, 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 wait! Yeah, but Some you're speaking them. my language, DJ. All of a sudden, because it's agoraphobic a little bit. Like it, whether it's um, again, I hate look looking over the edge of a building, you yeah, know, because of vertigo, stuff oh. like so. Yeah, <laughs> these like when you're doing roller coasters and you're doing all the yeah. That brings awesome. back. Yeah, no, I'm good on all that. I like we went on to a uh, when I was in high school. We went on the we went to Six Flags, and they have this like pyramid that you ride this elevator up, and you could just walk around. It's like a seat. It's like a observation deck or Oxford, how you say the word. And uh, yeah, you got it. We were up there, and I was like, "Yeah, whatever, man. Let's go. Let's get on it. I don't care. It'd be cool." I got up to the top of it, the door opened, and you kind of feel it like swaying a little bit. I'm like, "Yeah, I think I'm good." <laughs> They're like, oh, come on out! You gotta make you gotta make one lap around. I'm like, so I'm like, shimming across like the against the top of like the like the thing of it. I'm like, now we're good. I'm good. That was terrifying. I hate heights, so I can't even get on my own roof. If I went on my roof, I'd be scared. <laughs> Let alone on like, but I can ride a roller coaster. That's what's so weird to me. Like everyone's like, you could go skydiving, but you you're you're terrified of you're terrified of like heights. And I'm like, yeah, it's not it's not even. It's not even the same thing, but well, it's completely different. Well, that's what I wanted to ask you, is that um, you can't do roller coasters or maybe something like that, but you can still skydive? Yeah, I'll jump out of an airplane right now. Someone was like, hey, you want to go <laughs> skydive? And I'll be like, yeah, let's go. But somehow a roller coaster just doesn't Yeah, I think do it's, it for you. I think, I think the thing of it is, though, is like I have to – like, I think it's the waiting. I think it's the waiting stuff. If I didn't have to wait, I would ride a roller coaster. Like, boop, get on it and let's go. Like, if I showed up to an amusement park and I'm in the mood to ride a roller coaster, and everyone's like, "Hey, let's, we can get on it right now," I'll be like, "Okay, let's ride it." Like, and I'll just jump on and I'll ride it, and I won't care. I'll have I'll have a blast. But it's just like, I think the waiting part gets me. So, like, when I went in the airplane, I was like, for me, when I went skydiving, I was like so pumped up all the way until the point we started walking, like to the plane. I was like, oh yeah, we're pumped. <laughs> And then I get You're pumped until right. I get into the plane and I sit. I sit down and we start taking off and I'm like, this is gonna be pretty cool. And then I start. Then I start playing it in my head. I'm like, oh no, the only way of getting back out of this is going out that door. Like I have to go out of that door right there. And I'm like what the heck? Yeah. Then <laughs> when we went up there, they were like, hey, normally everyone jumps out for their first jumps and stuff like that at ten thousand feet. We're seeing a little bit of weird turbulence. We have to jump you out at like twelve five. We're like, what? Huh? So not only did I get to go higher, I got to go literally like 2,500 feet higher than normal people, like everybody else. I'm like, all right, let's do it. And then I, this is, this is a great thing. I get up there. I was chewing gum. I was so nervous. I forgot I was chewing gum until we got ready to jump out the door. I'm sitting there. I'm like, Hey, I'm chewing gum. I, what do I do? He's like, don't swallow it. <laughs> so, so I had this gum. I had to like stick it in my like like the bottom of my mouth, like in my gut. No, 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 no. Wait, DJ, you just tuck it under the plane. That's what everybody does. I should have I should have left, left it in the plane because I was afraid to breathe and I, I was afraid to like take a breath because you're like falling and I was afraid to like try to breathe because I was like and, and swallow my gum and start choking. So yeah, it was it was crazy. I didn't do it. I was like, so I just, I kept the gum in my mouth and then, so it's so funny. I have a video of me skydiving, but when I when I like jump out, I don't open my mouth at all because I'm afraid to swallow my gum. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, who does something like that? Who chews gum jumping out of jumping out of a plane? Like half the people in the world won't even jump out the plane, let alone chew. Who gum. jumps right? <laughs> exactly. Who jumps out the plane? Right. And DJ, that's really the question right there. Who jumps out the plane? It's you so have much fun though. The I would plane think, can everyone, land. The plane everyone, can land, and yet you're going to jump out of it. I don't know. That plane was pretty sketchy. I would rather <laughs> jump out. <the> plane <laughs> that was, that was, wait, wait, wait. What airline should we plug right here? <laughs> uh, it was like some back. We took off in a cornfield. Joe. Joe. 
What airline oh, comes no out of a cornfield? <laughs> the skydiving one that literally fits like four people in it. Backseat gorilla. <laughs> Backseat gorilla <laughs> airlines would come out of a cornfield. <laughs> It's crazy. It was so crazy. It was crazy though. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's so funny. Because him and his corn. Yeah, that's so funny. Mm-hmm. I got it now. I was like, wait a minute, what? No. But, oh my goodness. That's but yeah, stupid. no. It's, Sorry. It's, it's 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 crazy though. It's literally crazy. The whole um, the whole like jumping out of the plane is cool though. Everybody should do it. Joe, mm-hmm. that's what you should do for your birthday. Go jump out of a plane. <laughs> I wish we'll send you. We'll send you money, money. To jump out the plane. That's what we, need. We, need a, we need a fund me to jump out of a plane. Joe oh. jumps out of a plane. Fund. <laughs> wait, DJ. Wait. When we began, right? Because I have agoraphobia. We said the same thing. Like, mm-hmm. okay, so it's going to cost about six hundred dollars to jump out of a plane. All right. right. I think mine was only like three hundred and thirty. <laughs> so you with the hillbilly discount. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you gotta do it. It's like three hundred and thirty bucks. You're good. Yeah, three hundred thirty bucks. You land on corn. Yeah, hey. I'm just messing with you. Free corn. It's pretty much what we did, though. If you ever, if you ever see the video, it's pretty much what we did, though. We pretty much jump out of a cornfield or take off of a cornfield and jump into a cornfield almost. Joe, are you ready for this? <laughs> First candy. Next, jump out of a plane. Well, uh, I guess a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. Joe, Dude. what we do is what we do. We bl- you got to come to you got to come to Ohio, Joe. You come mm-hmm. here, and then you're gonna get blindfolded. We're gonna tell him about <laughs> you. you get blindfolded, and then we're gonna have to have to like inject like some some kind of like calming medicine into you. So then you wake up. Why the airplanes like? While you're getting, while you're hanging out the side of the, they get ready to go out the door, you're, and you wake up, you're like, "What the? I'm not ah! a part of this. I'm not a part of DJ's idea. I'm I'm not a part of it. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, it, 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 I can only manage a music festival. So DJ, out. <laughs> so DJ solution is to kidnap Joe, pretty much, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't. DJ is like, yeah, maybe. Let me ask my lawyer. (laughs) Yeah, right. (laughs) You should. Right. Exactly. My my lawyer just told me that I'm not legally allowed to say the word that I'm going to kidnap you. (laughs) 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 But they did say you're welcome to come to Ohio, and uh, if you happen to, oh my goodness, if you happen to fall asleep for a few times, (laughs) Wickawoo. Uh, I think she left. Oh my now. god! I need to charge up. Mm. Oh, Wicka oh, she said you're wonderful. still here. No, no. Yeah. Oh my god, Wickawoo is. Yeah, she's Wicka-woo. laughing at us. Are you kidding? <laughs> she knows all three of us. And yeah. So she's just sitting there saying, "You guys are ridiculous." <laughs> yeah. And we're saying, "Yes, we are." <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a video you should have watched. If you want to watch a video you should, instead of a golf cart video, you should have watched me jump out of an airplane video. That's way better. <laughs> It's way more Why, interesting. Do you, <laughs> wait, do you have it? Yeah, it's on my YouTube somewhere. Okay. So, everybody, after the live, go check out the both. <laughs> the mm-hmm. video we just watched. But watch him jump out of an airplane because he's nuts. <laughs> this guy right here. This guy that looks like James Bond. Yeah. Right over there. That's crazy. People have been saying that. Like, You're not the first person to say it looks like James Bond either. It's so <laughs> weird. Really? I never watched James Bond, though. Everybody. No, no, you, you could play you could play a modern day James just the, Bond, definitely. The, yeah. the crazy thing is just the thumbnail alone in the video is it, scary because when I jumped out of the plane, I was upside down. We did a flip out the door. So like we jump out of the plane and I, Oh, I, that's cool. Oh, thanks, oh. guy. Like <laughs> I'd be like jerk. I'd be so, like, you're such a jerk. So when we jumped out, though, what happened was when we did the like the flip down, like I remember like being like like kind of like this, and and this is when the moment got real for me, is I knew that it. This is when you know like your life is either gonna it's gonna go really well or it's gonna you're gonna you're done for. It's because you've seen the plane go, and you're just like, oh well, we just did this, and it's just yeah, it's crazy. It's just it, it felt like it was just ah! <laughs> as I'm chewing gum in my mouth. I have gum in my mouth, so you gotta worry about that on top of everything. So it's just like even more problem. It's it, yeah, it's so 
I don't know. I was terrified. Like to mm. swallow the gum the most. Like the rest of it was was awesome. Falling out is so cool because you can only fall at like a hundred and some mile an hour. So your body's like falling as like fast as you feel uncomfortable going. So it's so perfect for you. <laughs> Most exciting I, I, thing I do now, is music festivals. <laughs> that's still cool though. Music festivals are good. Hmm. You should go skydive into the music festival. <laughs> <laughs> there comes Joe. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Wait, Wait with Joe, bit. Joe bracelets and Joe um, guitar picks, just Dude. shining down on everybody. Like, Dude, imagine that! <laughs> imagine having like the guitar strapped to your chest, and then when you get to the level where you pull the parachute, you're sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> so cool! You landed. Just- I would pay tickets for that. Yeah. I would pay tickets. Yeah, that'd be the coolest intro ever. Driving or flying in, like just skydiving down, you, and you get to a level, you start playing the guitar, and then you just smash it on, you just get land and smash it. Mm-hmm. That's what I would do now, or I can make little arcade Joe um, claymation, <laughs> and I can make the claymation come in and do it. You should do that, that'd be so cool. Like, like, do like the yeah, yeah, like Joe coming in as a claymation character. Yes, you should do I that. Know. Have him jumping out of a plane and then and then have him, like, <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> and he lands on a claw machine and starts playing it. Bah, 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 you know, yeah, he just like pauses and he like turns around and he's at a music festival. He's like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that'd be so cool. See, them things take forever to make. I remember making one of those like when I was back in the day. It was, it's like you have to move something so slightly, and then yeah. Like, yeah. But when you're anal retentive, it works really well for you. <laughs> yeah, see, for me, I'm I'm impatient. Yeah. I'm just like move it a little bit, take a picture, move it a little bit more, take a picture, and the next thing you know, it's like yeah. it's like bump, 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 and doesn't look clean. So I'm like, yeah, whatever, get out of here. <laughs> oh yeah, no. Some of my first videos back when YouTube was um, only a site to post videos. Um, yeah, we did um, stop animation and clay animation. That would be and, cool, though. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, you're talking about, yeah, 12 hours for three minutes yeah. <laughs> of footage. Yeah. Right, 12 hours versus three minutes of footage. But if you can make the three minutes of footage funny, yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, it's worth it. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, we need to get. Okay, Joe. Joe, You've been three hours, Joe. (laughs) You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Should we send everybody over to backseat? Go to backseat. Um, Go to to my mom. DJ, DJ just shouts out of people. Go to backseat. Go to backseat (laughs) now. Go over there. I don't know. And if you need my, if you need a go kart pimp, come see me. Yeah, and <laughs> and and definitely, definitely, no matter what, follow Joe. Yeah, and hire DJ as soon as this is all done. Hire him hire as your right DJ hire for your right wedding. I'll still yep, show. for your party. Yep, yep. Mm-hmm. Hire DJ. I'll come. To yeah. you. I'll even come to the UK. I'll DJ for you, Joe. <laughs> Bring me, pay me to get over there. <laughs> born in the UK, I was born in the UK. <laughs> yeah. But all right, yeah, it's been like three hours. You should, you should probably probably call it. <laughs> <a day, you know. laughs> we love you. Hey, Joe. Have a good night. Yeah. Have, a, have a good night. See y'all later. Don't party too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Going the wrong way. <laughs> All right, love. <laughs> I always forget it's backwards. I know. <laughs> it's whack. <laughs> See y'all. Nice. Thanks. Love. So I'm going to end the live now and. I will see you all again next time. Thank you all for being here and for being amazing. I'll see you soon. 
and check out Backseat Gorilla Productions as I did put the link in the chat. So thank you again, everyone, and see you soon.